The booty was too strong. There's too much power. There's too much power contained within the rat booty. Our poor router. It couldn't sustain. Far too powerful of a booty. So, okay, there we go. I was, I was gonna say I'm, I'm kind of stuck in a pause loop, and I don't know what to do. There we go. All right, we're good. Welcome back, everybody. How's everyone doing? Uh, the rat booty was overwhelming. Really, I don't like a bunch of greed heads this early in a run. Because they're very angry little shits. Even if they're hilariously inaccurate. Okay. I should probably type refresh in the chat. There we go. That's the thing I should do. Welcome back, everybody. Yeah, come hit me now. Oh, he tried. Oh, he fucking tried. Bitch, he tried. Should have brought the Bible instead of the hangman. But I'm not smart. No one's ever accused me of being smart. I guess I'll just throw this shit immediately. Pill! Tears up, range down. Pill! Tears down. Ah, it's tears down, range down. That was a pretty powerful true combo. Ah, my Bible has no power, you fools. I am powerless. Oh boy. Yeah, okay, we're gonna retreat while we just fire vaguely at the mass. We definitely are gonna feel that base range in this room. We're gonna be feeling the sting of the base range. Is that like a lightning conductor? I don't know. I'll go pick it up later. I guess we're just gonna not get items this run. That's... Should it be worse? Yeah, we have at least a couple of items. But I'm pretty sure all but one of our item rooms have been usable items, so that kind of sucks. Blood XP 43 months in the pool. You with the shiniest squidling. Oopus. Okay, he pinballed a 75 degree angle to hit me exactly. I mean, he just calculated simple geometry. That's a Hanzo main. Happens. Some of the dudes are fucking wizards. I don't know if I can still make Overwatch jokes. I don't know if anyone's played Overwatch joke uh, Overwatch in the last fucking two years. That stale ass meme. Uh, battery gives me more flight. The symbol of chaos means my thousand suns hit on two if they're within eight inches. See what I did there? See what I did? See the calculation? Now I also buy the battery by robbing my future self. Also, there's some flies. Till the end. Okay. Um. So, this is a bottom left do nothing. We've experienced this bottom left do nothing before. What are you? It's apparently a fish tail. Oh, it's a new flavor of bottom left do nothing, so we're gonna give it a shot. Dark one. Nice shooting, Tex. I feel like my exorbitantly low range is gonna make this. Haha, <laughs> you stupid idiot. I think I turned the lights back on, you dumb dumb. I think I turned the lights back off. Well played! An excellent counter. Thank you, weird revolving thingy, for eating that. I definitely deserve to get hit. Okay, one spider. Excellent. Poop my pants. Tears down. And. Range up, speed down. I'm okay with range up, speed down. I have an electrical socket. Uh, the opposite of the Bible. I'd like the electrical socket, please. Okay. Uh, thanks, Dad. I'll see you later, I guess. 
If you're worried about Overwatch, I don't think many people will get 40k references. You're right, you that's fair. That's fair. A oh, good point, well made. Oh, you forgot they can turn to skeletons. Wow, oh, okay. Well, I know what the battery does. Sometimes my tears get real zappy. But I feel like not getting Overwatch references is just me re re mentioning a game that... Well, I don't know, is Overwatch still fucking relevant? I feel like it hasn't been relevant in a thousand years. This is the bait room, it doesn't do anything. Whereas if you don't know 40k, that's a personal problem. Okay, apparently it can do something. I've never seen any of those things move. Oh boy. Chain lightning, please. By the power of Shaman. meat stick. Hey, asshole. Okay. We got two of chest. Okay. That was a humongous amount of rewards. Reward quantity is extremely high. Uh-oh. Oh, well, he died instantly, so that made that a lot less threatening. I was much more worried until he instantly fucking disintegrated. Okay, analog stick. He's not gonna do me any favors on this, because my potato aim is gonna come. I'm gonna sit here so there's less directions they can spawn in, and hopefully they'll spawn together. They didn't at all, but it still worked. Extra chest full of spiders. They're friendly spiders, though. Roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> okay. Has an DLC for this? Well, in comparison to the original Binding of Isaac, which is the comparison that I have, uh, it does seem a lot better. So at some point in, I don't know, like eight years of DLC's new versions and improvements, the game does seem to have gotten better. Okay, so High Priestess is a bomb in a trench coat. What can I use you for, bomb in a trench coat? You can step on these nerds, I guess. The High Priestess. I feel like that's as good a use as any for a bomb in a trench coat. Getting better over time is a line that many games can't meet. Ooh. Ooh. That doesn't feel good in my inside parts. But you are correct. That is actually a relatively high bar. Getting better over time is, is a thing that most games don't do. Well. So, yeah, I suppose that is actually a, an impressive thing worthy of note with Binding of Isaac, is that over the years it does seem to have become a better game. Which shouldn't be a high bar. But it is. Oh, man! I was fully expecting a fucking people's elbow from the right. I think they have a vision range, and it's not infinity. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'll we'll see what's on that skull. I guess it's nothing. Fire! Fire is dollars a lot. So fishtail looks like it's pretty soundly, and bottom left do nothing. I thought my hairball picked that up, but no, I'm just insane. Okay. Yeah, as much as the easy meme there, of course, is also RuneScape, but I've really heard that RuneScape 3 is actually pretty good. Which probably just lost me any amount of the, uh, oh boy. Ah! Good work, Samson. I was never worried for a second. It's probably just lost me literally any amount of people that are here right now. The hairball's actually great for these guys. Uh, that are following the channel largely for the RuneScape adventures because those are cursed words. You literally, you're just, you are not allowed to say that. That is an illegal opinion.
I'm aware of that. But I've heard from people not so staunchly attached to that illegal opinion that RuneScape 3 is actually pretty neat. It's just, you gotta approach it like it's a different game. You can't, yeah, you can't go into it expecting RuneScape. Because you're not gonna get RuneScape. It is at this point a completely distinct game. Which has only some passing familiarities with RuneScape. This floor is fuck you. Oh, it's an XL floor. Okay, fair enough. It's supposed to be fuck huge. Oh, the chads are coming. Coming to fattus upon me. Oh, I almost walked into his poo blood because I didn't realize he was pooing blood. See a doc. That the third form is bigger than the second form. Fire, 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 fire. I actually told Bren, because we were just going to the dump this morning to get rid of trash. But I snuck back in the car before she left. Um, I was telling Bren all the stuff she likes about World of Warcraft. I actually think she would super like RuneScape. That's good timing for that. All the stuff she likes about WoW is the stuff that RuneScape does right. But she literally just, she actually... Are they healing? Can you not? So I'm not gonna be able to kill you quickly. Like, that's not a thing. I, that's not an ability I possess. I think I just hairballed him. That'll work. But she can't get over how fuck ugly the game is. I noticed my stores on Samson only have two things in them. She literally can't get over how fuck ugly old school RuneScape is, and I don't blame her. It's fuck ugly. It's absolutely... It looks like trash. It's a travesty, visually. Also a cursed opinion. But it, it looks like poo-poo. It really does. Okay. That's a spooky button, I don't want to touch it. Okay, well, if we find a place to spend health, like a dark bum, or a blood machine, or a dark bum, <sighs> fucking damn it. Of course, the dark bum has got to be a goddamn nuisance to get to. But I can also ramp my damage like crazy off of them. So that as well is cool. Dark Bum's an absolute fucking nuisance to get through. I'm literally gonna go see if we can find a different Dark Bum. That Dark Bum, this Dark Bum sucks. I would like it. absolutely any other Dark Bum, please. Beggars can't be choosers. You wanna fucking bet? Because, boy, I'm about to fucking choose. Okay, the lightning is a range thing. That's not actually attached to tears. That's just being close to people. Give me a ton of health for it. You suck. This is the M16, right? Ah. I forgot. This is the nuisance. I don't like that item. Can I still just fucking mash and get shots out? Absolutely. And actually, were I an absolute scammer? So I can't do it with a face button. With a face button, this appears to be max speed. With the analog stick? It is actually as fast as you can mash. It's very hard to mash an analog stick. Is 
You guys suck. This is only gonna dramatically exacerbate my NA aim. I want y'all to know that. That's that's another item of the I wish I didn't pick it up pile. That one's up there with the two items that literally just kill you and that I I would actually prefer to not have them. Is, that's, is that a blood bag machine way up at the top? That's so far from all the hell. This regular Gamba. I need health Gamba. This Dark Bomb is a fucking travesty. Okay, I can't actually get that one. He's actually a fucking degenerate, and I hate him. Thank you. I am absolutely okay with you just giving me an item and leaving immediately. It's so annoying to get to him. But we, you know, it paid out. We got bread. Delicious bread. I gotta remember that charged cursed eye shot. I really would rather not have it. Okay. Okay. I, okay. I don't know why that happened or why. My fucking severe NAA makes this item so much worse than it already is. And it's already not very good. Where's the shop? Oh, we've been to the shop. I'm dumb. I was looking for the shop. We already fucking did the shop. God, my brain. Shit, my brain works on a level of smoothness you could never understand. You can't even imagine how tiny my brain is. The cage. Comma, Nicholas. Okay. I mean, I do a lot of fucking damage. My damage is 11.1 .1 right now, so I should do a lot of fucking damage. Mama! I'm gonna hit you with the strength. Well, that's why that means the shoot's spawning at once. Open up, bitch! Okay. We're doing good, shit. We're doing good. Such a large floor by the time you come from one side to the other, you forget what you've done. That's not wrong. Okay. Oh, it's not actually an enemy. It's just... I am God? Oh no. Top 10 floors that make you verbally say, oh no, when you walk into them. I have a lot of key. I'm predicting not worth. I have a, the good news with my potato ass aim is this hairball really heavily rewards running around like a fucking maniac. Which is good, because that's the thing that I'm doing. Oh, there were more. Thank you, hairball. It also rewards just being an idiot. I don't know what the fuck. They just flew at me. They turned to birds. This, this hairball very heavily rewards just a wide assortment of bad play. It's a great item for me. Oh, we're here forever, dude. I'm never gonna fucking kill these guys. Two of these fuckers, the Curse of Darkness.
Like that's, that's actually the answer. I'm just leaving. I'm going home. You guys suck. I don't wanna do this room anymore. I will literally be in that room for 10 minutes. I am not interested. It's a hard pass. But Squid, you got the bomb again when you go back through their way. I fucking know. I fucking, I've been new. Or we could just leave. We could just leave as an option. Oh, it's Blast Assist. It's like a boss, but not. And before I take damage. It's only cardinals now. It's only one dude with cardinals now. This like sticky tear bomb thing is pretty dope actually. Speed plus shot speed up. Satan has a book that sucks and a poop tissue. It's apparently a... so well okay. So I <laughs> Let me get this straight. I exchanged a heart for a heart. Is that, is that what we just did? Oh, I killed one. Only six more. Not the button I meant to hit. Okay. Sick trade. Okay, good room. Oh, no, there's a secret! Secret worms! You little bastards. All right, there go all my spirit hearts. Me being a fucking dumbass, let's go. Down it's skinny hole. Oh boy, there's a bunch of fucking lasers. Heels. Fair enough. You stay over there, sir. I fire my M16 in your general direction while missing almost every single shot. I should have pushed that. Uh, should have pushed that to a wall and bombed it. For a secret imp chance. Ooh, that's that's yours. You can keep that. I also brought my own boombas. Help me. Fucking those are so big. Secret room. No. Bible, thank you. I haven't actually gotten a lot of flight value out of this run. I don't think. Um. I'm gonna get some right now. Dope. Glad, thank you for this opportunity. I'm glad, I'm glad we did this. Hardest one I've ever rolled. It's not true, I was in a very severe car accident. But the very severe car accident didn't kill me. So I feel like it's still a valid candidate for the hardest one I've ever but whatever it is, it's causing me to teleport to another room every single time I take damage. Is that... I think that might be my bottom, my bottom left. That might be my bottom left. That's gotta fucking stop. It was convenient there. That was the one conceivable situation in which it was convenient. Hey, it's Pim. And his baby. And his other baby. Oh my god. Whatever the fuck item this is. I need to identify it so I can never pick it up again. It's actually the worst. I'm on, I don't like this. I'm on the wrong side. Fuck. Pretty sure that's fine when I just stood there. Fighting, baby! You unlocked Angie, baby. Well, here's the problem. Uh, I'm fucking dead. What the hell is this? Okay, that's the biggest bait I've ever seen in my life. Okay. Just fucking stand in there like, I'll get him someday. 
I'll get him. Hold on, I got this. I got him. I got him. See, I told you. Looks worse than it is. It's the case for a lot of these trap rooms. Some of them, however, are just awful. I don't know what I took damage from. Unfortunate. Oh my god. This is the worst fucking room in the world. Out of all of the rooms, it's the worst. This is the rest of the stream. Oh, I was gonna bomb him over the rock. I thought I was so smart. I mean, that was, okay, okay. While we have not, like, we're not chilling by any sense of the imagination. So just drop all of your health but his hearts. We're definitely not chilling. But we're a lot better than we were, I don't know. Like 19 seconds ago. So it's what I would call progress. Oh, this room sucks ass. Oh, I can actually outrange this Smitty statue. Okay, that makes it a lot better. me, man. I thought I could weave it. I don't know if it's worth continuing to explore the floor. I'm no longer teleporting. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I fucking doing, man? You guys want to see how hard I can throw? I can throw really hard. I can win those unwinnable carnival games sometimes. I get to knock all the bottles over. Dude, I can throw so hard. I don't even know if it's a throw. Like, I'm playing like garbage, but I feel like the run is also garbage. I feel like to qualify as a throw, you have to have a good run. This is just regular losing. I'm trying to get kind of close so my lighting will do work. Since I can't aim for shit, because the stupid Cursed Eye ruined everything, because I'm terrible at NA aim. Cursed Eye and Analog Stick is actually the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Uh, I have a lot of keys. Thank you. Those are exactly the things I need. I like that I can choose to pay health or, uh, keys, or just press the Bible button, and I'm dumb and didn't do that. Hmm. This is not a good room. I got a lot of that going around. Might be just, okay. Lightning, I need you to fucking carry me here, okay? Lightning plus controller stick spam. Spam! We're doing it! I don't know what I'm hoping for from clearing these rooms, but like, an out of some kind really would be the main thing I'd point to. Any variety of an out. Like, 24 bombs. I have not found a regular secret room. Should probably hunt for that. Okay. Probably look where I'm walking and not exclusively at the map. Because looking exclusively at the map causes you to lose the spirit heart you literally just got. Can't be that. Why, do you, why, why bomb that? It's not an option. Here is almost certain, but it could be left. Okay. And I give up. Uh, I mean, I guess it, it's possible it could let me into the curse room. There's no way it's here. Alright, so I, I have no idea. I bombed, like, every... I feel like actually feasible place. I feel like Isaac is generally an easier boss. 
So since I feel weak as shit, it's a trade-off, right? Because the cathedral is hell world, ironically. But if I can get to... Uh, oh, of course it is. If I can get to Isaac, I have some semblance of a chance. Not a high chance. Hell world. Hell world. Actually, just hell world. Very small chance. It's not a zero percent chance. Right here. Don't kill him! Don't kill him! Don't kill him! Don't kill him! Okay. Don't kill him! 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 Now kill him. Let's go this way. What a fun room. It was actually kind of neat, honestly. I say that- Oh! Say that sarcastically, but it was actually kind of neat. Alright! The chance is not zero. Isaac does largely just stand there and allow me to insert things into his face. However, I have much less experience with him. That's gonna make this pretty rough, I think. That actually can kick in during a bus. Well, GG, damn it. We had it. We had it, we had our shot. That was our chance. Game giveth. I mean, there's only two rooms between me and there. I have no idea what's causing this, but it is literally the most frustrating shit I've ever freaking experienced. I don't actually know what hit me. Must have been an angel baby, I imagine. Oh, these things explode. Never mind. Oh, his name's maybe Spawner, right? I knew that. Yeah, this is this is a super fun mechanic, the teleporting thing. Real enjoyable. Okay. Okay. That, but again. Somehow dodge that. We do have a lot of damage. It's not impossible. It's just unlikely. Ran into that because I'm not smart. Oh my god. Come on! You flying bitch, baby! Think you're hot shit? Just because I can't aim? If I had at least any semblance of ability to shoot, you'd be dead! Come on, Samson! Fuck this toddler! Die, motherfucker! The FBI agent Michael who's watching me, I want to... Clarify that was the, the game statement. You don't need to upgrade my position on the list. I know we talked about this before. I know. Holy fuck. Oh no, my caster's fucked up on this. Right, because I reset everything. Hold on. Stand by, I can fix. I can fix. I, I didn't fix this when I reset it up. <laughs> Fuck whatever teleports me when I get hit. Oh, my camera's fucked. This scene's all kinds of fucked. It's okay, I don't care, I won. What matters is that we won. The green screen's fucked. The game input's fucked. 
But I'm a fucking winner. Okay? I killed the guy. Fucking... This scene... This scene is how my... How that run felt. That's... <laughs> bloody lust has appeared in the basement. Doesn't matter one game. Jesus loves me! Uh, something... something... We won! I don't know how. I don't know how we won that. Between the fucking... M.A. aim. And the M16, like, power shot her 12,000. And time out with bits. I don't know how we won that. We did not deserve to win that. But we're doing a good job of working our way down the list. We're fucking, we're doing it, dude. We're doing it. We're hard moding all over the place. Who hasn't won on hard mode? At least two, because I played them of these three before I started fucking with hard mode. So there's like three. I'm really, I feel like this man stop is right just there, a copy stop. of this, the same concept as this. No time out with bits getting done. Mark, I'll thank you this up. But it looks like we have. There's three more question marks. Be greed mode with a zazzle. Did you something? Beat hard mode with Lazarus without losing a life, which impl implies that he has lives. And that's blah, blah, blah. Who fucking knows, man. We're working our way down the list. I skipped this because I'm pretty sure this dude was in the first game, and he's just the point is he sucks and he's hard mode. I'm I'm already I'm not we're not there yet. We're not at that level. I have not yet achieved. Such lofty heights of power. But what I am gonna do. What I am gonna do is knock all my sleeping pills on the floor. And I gotta pee super bad. My tiny childlike bladder is perfectly represented by all of the characters in the binding of Isaac. So I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna go pee. We had Baby Assassin, Laser Satan, and whatever the fuck that run was. The Assassin's Creed Stealth Ass Ninja right there, criminal Murderer scum. run was actually, that was actually my, I think my favorite Binding of Isaac we've had so far. Was the Stealth Ninja Helicopter. I can't believe I didn't Helicopter Isaac. I'm, I'm gonna be mad about that forever. For, I will eternally be upset that I didn't fucking Helicopter Isaac. I just literally did not occur to me. The helicopter Isaac. I am the worst streamer on Twitch. Sir McSlushy, 15 months to pull you with a signy of squiddling. Mark Hall, thank you for that dunk. Yeah, we got all three flavors of Isaac run. Fun, somehow with Eve. Total meme with the stealth helicopter. And absolute hell world. I mean, I almost stopped. I did almost stop playing Isaac after like the first run. I was like, I almost said, fuck this shit. But then you know what? We got the full spectrum of the Isaac experience today. I'm gonna pee. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. And when I return, we're just gonna we're gonna play some fucking Greenscape. It's vibing time, dude. It's time to chill. It's time to chill. BRB.
Welcome back, everybody. Commercials should be over for everyone. Oh, let me change my title. God. Honestly. That last round was actually super fun. It was pain. It was a lot of pain. But it was actually a lot of fun. I didn't hate it. I cut it was It's one of those runs I feel like I will look back on fondly Basically forever because it was such a just a good general Isaac run a bunch of really weird shit happening What I definitely need to do Is I had to make a list Maybe even with like screenshots with pictures of the items that fucking suck that I don't want to pick up I don't want to pick up the pointy piece of broken glass that just kills you. I don't want to pick up the bloody stabby cross that just kills you. I don't want to pick up the tiny pearl that makes me have to friggin' M16. At least not with analog stick. It's probably fine without analog stick, but it's really annoying with analog stick. I guess I could have just played with the face buttons, but I like analog stick too much. I feel like both my analog stick runs have gotten that M16 thing and it's just a nuisance. Hello, Marshmallow. What are you snooting about? His eye looks so much better. Oh, uh, his eye looks so much better. That's good. That's positive. I like it when rat heals. But also, it helps that small rodents have a Wolverine-like healing factor. And they heal from things as insane as nearly losing an eye in a couple of days. Rats are just wild piles of very curious rapidly replicating stem cells. I don't know how else to describe a rodent. But! Hello. I'm gonna chill. <laughs> that was a high effort Isaac run. It is chilling time. My poison resistance is worn off. Can you guess what I was doing? Can you guess? You can probably guess what I was uh, what I was working on when last I played the RuneScape by the poison resistance wearing off and the shit that I'm wearing being toxic. Yeah, I mean I am playing RuneScape. If you're playing any multiplayer game online, literally all you can do is be toxic. Making fire orbs, boys! I made a decent little stack of fire orbs. And, uh, I'll be able to buy tomorrow's battle staves and the next day's battle staves. And make all of them. And then alk them for a lot of money. So I had some thoughts. Some thoughts that I'm largely... Gonna, we're gonna kinda just like housekeep and do some mild vegetation today. Just kinda chillaxing. Getting caught up on some stuff. I haven't done a Slayer task in forever. Cause I'm kind of afraid to do it off stream. Cause it's a Slayer monster. And every time I do any random Slayer month, like Slayer task. Trolls aren't even a Slayer task. Any random fucking task off stream. Weird shit happens or drops. And that's not true. It's been exactly twice. But I feel like it's dramatically more likely when it's an actual Slayer monster, like a Bloodveld. My only concern... Not my only concern, but a concern. Is my router just straight up fucking died? 48 minutes ago says OBS is uptime. I'm a little concerned. Without doing anything combat related while well, my router is just randomly killing itself. But as long as we don't overload it with rat booty, I think we'll be okay. 
Even though Slayer did stuff drop offs during the purple mining area. Yeah, but it was like pointless garbage. It was just stuff I took to the museum for actually 100 gold and one kudos. So fortunately, that didn't really matter very much. I'm gonna go pick my irrit leaves, do a farming thing. But we're gonna, today is the day of stuff that I should do. <laughs> Not stuff that I want to do. It gives kudos? Yeah, legally. I got literally two. One for the globe and one for the telescope. So, I guess technically it gives kudos. <laughs> the answer you're looking for is yes. Give me the basic farmology equipment. I want to have this in my hand because... Fuck. Cat. Why are you the way that you are? I want to have this in my hand because everybody else has it in their hand. I'm sure I'm supposed to be doing something with it. You can't do anything with it in your hand. It has to just do something. Everybody else has this fucking thing. Any kudos is good kudos. That's fair. I'll give kudos the uh, Candazole. The weird artifacts you can get from Candazol give kudos. Didn't I? Oh, it's Avento. Oh, I was like, what, what the fuck? Why are Irrit leaves there? What am I doing? That's not the- that's not Avento! I planned the wrong herb, because I'm an idiot. God damn it. Ah, I see the problem. No. Right, the problem is that... That's what I have. So... So that's what we're planting. And I can't do this contract. It's one of those, is it worth downgrading it situations? Maybe. Maybe I should just downgrade the contracts to an easy. So I could do it. Can you show stats? Here you go. I got you, Chief. <laughs> Grow Avento. You got any seeds? No. God damn it. But hey, the fact that I'm so low on herb seeds, chat, I'm actually, like, doing herb runs. Or did, rather. I've obviously kind of stopped because I'm completely out of valuable, like, seeds that do anything. But are you proud of me, chat? I did herb stuff e ever. I did any amount of herbing. Let's go kick his boy in the teeth. I'll put those stats back up in a cycle. I'll, here, I'll walk slowly to the chest with my stat screen up while I'm going to get some stuff. I know I flipped off it really fast. But there you go. We are... I feel like if I say mid-game, people are gonna yell at me. Uh, actually, you've, you're not in the mid-game of RuneScape until you can farm the Theater of Blood raid hard mode solos with 99 ranged and prebis. Okay, nerd. The numbers say 60 to 70. I feel like I'm generally in the middle of the game. That's what I feel like. Thank you, Mausana. That wasn't directed at you in any way. That was just like a thought. That wasn't in any way related to you asking for stats. Uh, bonker? Magical things. T Naughty 69, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Solid name. Put all this stuff on. Put on the oopsie poopsie ring. Start with these so I can throw some lawn darts. Play some cornhole with his spory. You claim to be a big game and don't even have 99 rune crafting? What are you, a casual? Super anti poison drink, a combat potion. Uh, prayer pot in case. Okay, let's go. God fucking. I'm not feeding you a Karamblon cat. Or marshmallow. You can't have a Karambwan either. You can just eat your formulated rat triangles. <laughs> Whatever it is that your food is. As far as Manchai even talks to you, your magic is a 99. Well, Manchai talks to me, not Baylor. It's a different thing. That's a you know, that's a character, right? The cat's just waiting to sleep all the good food. Uh, I would like an octopus. No! Here's some fucking trout. Now sit down and shut up. I wanna go throw lawn darts at a tree. Lawn dart. Lawn dart. Oh, I didn't drink the anti-poison. Oh, uh, wait. That one. Super anti-poison. It's fake. Go, go, gadget! Lawn darts! 
Ow. Can you be less rude, please? No? Alright, that's fine. That's cool. You do whatever you want. You do whatever you want. I kind of want to kill... Seragnus some more. Just because it's... I actually enjoy it. I think it's a lot of fun. I like fighting bosses when you don't just hit a zero 49 times in a row. This is looking like a hit of zero 49 times. Let's just not be on defensive for this, Bori. I'm not positive what this changes, but... I know we did something the other day that implied there was a difference between these attack styles. It isn't just what kind of XP you get. Skitty Pool Clan Chat. Yep, it is. It is Squiddish spelled in the dumbest way possible because Squiddish spelled in the regular permutation is taken by my old account. It's been, I assume, banned for fucking Macaring Major or whatever for eight years. This is the fate of all accounts that have been abandoned. One. Got him. This is gonna be a prayer pot sippy kind of fight. Should I just leave? I almost want to just leave and start over. Blondart. Blondart. This almost feels like a go home. Try again next next attempt. <laughs> and then just shovel supplies down the infinite dumpster. I really don't want to drink prayer potions to fight you this story. Prayer potions are for stuff that matters. Which is not you. When you decide to be a bitch, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Sometimes this boy is just a dickhead. Second cycle's going a little bit. I can take one more, one more good hit. I don't have to feed. Is that not flowers? That's nice flowers. Londart? Londart? Food? Londart? Londart? <laughs> I love the Londart strats. The Londart method makes me uh, have a very good time. I'll put the clan chat back up after I'm done slapping this tree. I wonder if it'd be better to... No, probably not. I was thinking range, because that range hits so hard, but the magic probably does too. It just doesn't because I'm praying it. Because I'm in, like, the free-to-play kings. Chosen attire. Haha, <laughs> idiot. I don't even run out of prayer. It got way better after that first cycle that took a thousand years for some reason. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Trencher. It's Squiddish, two eyes, two D's, two eyes. Like that. Where am I going? Need you. Shovel, please. Wait, because I need another Spory Seed. That's the thing we're doing. How am I on a Spory Seeds? Uh, I have some. I will eventually run out of his Spory Seeds. The number is definitely dwindling. And shovel, please. God, I'm so bad at everything. I can't keep my train of thought for five seconds today. Wonder if Lundart's are Somebody said it was after we figured it out. After I tried throwing shit at his Spory. I don't need the seed dibber too, god damn it. Avento? Toad flex. I mean, I'm not gonna say, like, that's that's also good. I need herb seeds in general are useful. <sighs> so annoyed looking at that as I'm 82 farming on my UIM with only three Aspori seeds ever so far. Well, maybe don't do exclusively Teaks and Mahogany's, I don't know. <laughs> it seems to me like you get seeds from everything. And I'm gonna assume that the meta farm boys... I don't know how UIMs do farming or how you do farming. I'm gonna assume the meta farm boys probably only do, like, trees and herbs. Because everything else... People generally only do whatever the wiki says is the most effective possible thing. Which would mean trees and herbs, because you get the most from those. And I also visually see that in farming patches, where people are absolutely only doing the herb patch and not touching anything else. But it turns out you get a lot of spory seeds from the flowers in the allotments, too. 
So that's probably where like most of these came from. The Ring of Life can go away. Give me my Graceful back thingy. Give me my nice shirt, even though it doesn't match my cape anymore. There are other patches. Yeah, see, there you go. I don't want you fucking complaining. Uh, excuse me? I'm level 82 and I've only farmed 16 trees one time. Why well, don't I have any Aspori seeds? Well, maybe because you haven't farmed 300 allotments. Herbruns are, like, printing money. Yeah, the money is not the concern that I have. The concern is the, the herbs. Which reminds me, I could probably do a little bit of herb luring. What can I do at 58? What's, what's, what are we at? 58. I don't know what this is. Kuarm and Lampwort Root is my best. I can learn snap. I can use Snapdragons at 63. Super Energy Potion uses Aventos. And then I can make Super Attacks. And Prayer Stores. What do I ha What? No. What do I have for herbs? How are we chilling right now? I have 98 Kuarms. do that. That's some levels. I think Cadentine's not supposed to be here. Cadentine definitely seems like it's higher level. Let's do that instead. I have some Aventos I can make into energies. I don't have a lot of more Meyer Fungus. That's fine. We're doing stuff. Let's make a bunch of these. Just kind of want to see where we get. Every time I sit down to actually make potions to level herb lore, I get sad. Because it comes so fucking slowly. So slowly, dude. This is why every single diary lamp goes into herb lore. Demonstration follows. I have to get five levels. Five levels! Before I unlock another fucking potion. I guess I get weapon poison. Might be worth trying to hold on to some quarms. Or Kuarm mix. Let's see what we get from here. Because I can actually get ground blue dragon skills. We had the problem in Trailblazer League that I couldn't do that. I can do that here because me not that kind of Iron Man. 125 per thing. 14 fucking thousand <laughs> to the next level. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not happy about it. It doesn't please me. It doesn't tickle my insides. What more diaries could we possibly do for herb lore experience? Diaries are good. The problem is we're running out of medium diaries. Desert and Falador are the two left that aren't like booty butt cheeks to do. I believe in me. Hey, Mirna. Mauritania. Yeah, shut up. Maybe someday. Well, eventually that hurdle's gonna need to be crossed. Like, you guys had a lot of rat vibing checks today while the rats have been just chilling. So here. Marshmallows mountain. While I just jam limpware roots, roots into a bottle. He's having a good mouch. You actually can't even really see that his eye is fucked up on this camera. That's pretty good. That's how much better it's looking. Is it? Because it's his eye that's facing the camera right now. It's his right eye is the one that's really fucked up. But he's looking good enough. It's not really visible here. He's doing a lot better. He healing. Nature is healing. Well, that got me halfway there. That was 56 coup arms. Okay. Here it just goes with Eye of Newt. I can jam those together. It's just super attacks, right? Still hates the drops and whatever, though. Uh, so... He's gotten a lot better about taking the eye drops. To the point where I think the eye drops actually might immediately have made him feel better. Because the first couple days, when it was, it was really bad, like, his eye was very swollen... And it probably hurt him a lot. It probably was in a decent amount of pain. 
One of the things we got at the vet was just straight up a, like a veterinary grade fucking painkiller. He wasn't acting much different, but it probably hurt. But the good news, stop scratching it. But the good news is he's pretty cooperative with the eye drops now. So I think they might've actually just immediately made him feel better. They might've been like an instant quality of life improvement. I drop, because that's something he could make sense of. He probably wouldn't be able to put together, we give him a strange syringe of banana sauce, because that's what it tastes like, their uh, uh, painkiller. And then suddenly it doesn't hurt as much, because it's not going to be suddenly, it'll be a bit later. I don't, I don't know the rat brains putting that one together, but my eye hurts a lot. Man puts thing in my eye, my eye does not hurt as much anymore. You know, I think a rat can put that one together. They're, they're pretty smart. So I think he could actually, you know, science out that it is the eye drops being put in his eyeball that is making him feel better. And then not fight as much or maybe be happy about it even. Which is pretty gusta. I like that. I like it when the rat is happy. This pleases me when the rat is when it's happy. Evil man won't stop it if I struggle, so I give up. That was the first couple times. The first couple times is uh, step one. Firmly grasp rat. Wait until rat struggling has ceased. Either because he ran out of energy or he gave up. Eye drops to rat. <laughs> That was certainly the first couple cycles. Firmly grasp it. <laughs> he is very small. If you want to hold him, he is not going to be able to stop you. You can hold him. I see many humans still kick up such a fuss the same situation. Yeah, but... And maybe I don't give animals enough credit. I don't imagine rats have things like irrational phobias and shit. So humans, we have enough mental capacity that it can work against us in a lot of situations. Like you can have people that are absolutely pants-shittingly terrified of something that they consciously know shouldn't bother them. Like needles, for instance. Just a random... I still have a cat. I totally forgot I had a cat. Just a completely random thing that comes to mind as a as a potential phobia. I don't think rats... I mean, maybe they do. I don't feel like rats have particularly strong feelings against most things other than me want treat. Please give treat. Or in the case of Dingus, me want to go in ball now. Please put in ball so I may roll. Animals are often dumber than we think. A lot of actions are on instinct. We assume is them thinking. A lot of things are just us looking for patterns and assigning meaning. That's true. But I don't think that's so true for rats. It is true for a lot of animals. Probably almost all animals. But there are some animals who do actually have, like, a pretty demonstrable level of intelligence. And rats are up there. Rats can definitely learn shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Play animals, sir, sure are dumb. <sighs> I want to leave some of these in case I want to make anti poisons for some reason. Pale Scythe! It's raining hats. Hallelujah. Hello, my hats. friend! I Amen. see you came bearing gifts! I'm gonna go out. Hats! I'm gonna let myself Raining down from on high! Squid Absolutely. starts, not your time yet. Fucking Stop right no. there, Squid Squid start, you're not supposed to- It's you're, raining hats. You're supposed to wait until Hallelujah. I say the thing. It's raining hats. Throw it out a whole Every bunch of hats to Don Daddy Airy, Orna Lab Acoustic OW, Jason M3090, Ghost Stop of Bizarre, right there. Internet, there. internet Kraken, All Dyron, Drain92, Inkurian, It's and raining kites. hats. Which lagging a bit on this. It's raining hats. Hit an ancient one Amen. slumbering within the pool. I'm gonna go out. Enjoy! It's your time yet. now. Enjoy! Absolutely. Not just Fucking this fine hat, don't. but perhaps it's the finest hats. emote on all Hallelujah. of Twitch.com. It's raining hats. It's a beautiful kind of hat. Squid Star. 
Red. It's majestic. Purple. It's multi purpose. Near infinite value. Brian. Take us it's out. It's raining hands. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. <laughs> Twitch is being slow. Thank you so much, Pell Scythe. Appreciate it. Wait. Oh, this is Irrit. This is the attack potion. Not, this isn't Quarm. This is the punchy touch. Hooray! I passed my birthday channel to the full. Happy birthday! That's not how birthdays are supposed to work. That's supposed to go the other direction. You're supposed to be the one getting cool shit, but thank you. I can now make super strength mix. I can clean Snapdragon. Well, that's kind of nice, actually. I can get all these grimy Snapdragons on my bank. Yeah. Click, 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 click. I'm not good at this. My click accuracy certainly leaves some to be desired. Aha! So I know we found a decent herb lore boost. It's a farming pie. It wasn't you. We found a good herb lore boost. It was right. I know this. I know this was the Golanova pie that I was using to clean herbs and things in advance. I think it's Lantadime next. So I could from this level. I want to say they give me four. If I got plus four from the herb lore pie, I would be able to make super star potions. I know it is Cadentine next. And we get Cadentine at 66 for super defense. Ooh, no, super defense. No, we don't need Stiz for Herblor. Also, I'm not leveling this for anything. I'm just doing it to do it. Like, I don't need a higher level. The thing I want eventually, of course, is this stupid piece of shit at 79. And then... This stupid piece of shit at 87. This is the one I never got to. This, this right here, this is where my Trailblazer joy died. My will to continue playing Trailblazer ended unceremoniously and immediately as I tried to push to 87 herb lore to be able to make fucking anti-venoms. As I wanted to fight Zolra some more, I did not want to do it without anti-venom. I got my one. I got my one in without anti-venom. Don't want to freaking do it again. It's spooky that you have to do it once. You have to win one without anti-venom because you don't get the Zora scales until you kill the Zora. But I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Like, even with the Trailblazer League boost, I could not fucking push 87 or blur. And that was what, that was what finally wound me off. Anti-fire would actually be hella useful. We're starting to get some not super uncommon metal dragon tasks. 69 means I would need to have 65. So it'd be six herblore levels. So I'm not in like a huge rush, but it would be nice to have anti-fires. It would be nice. It makes killing dragons, oh shit, my cat. Much less AFK. Touch. Touch the cat. Okay, so I can't do this stupid Avento contract, which means that instead we are going to... Hmm. Question mark emoji. I had a bunch of ideas. I feel like it's not go kill Bloodvelds for an hour time yet. We could go do that, though. Do I have any clues? No? Oh, is the Warriors Guild? That was a thing. Um, I know another thing, very briefly. Because I did some of this off stream, but I didn't. I just did it because I was trying to push fishing level. I want to catch sharks. Sharks sound cool. I have those, uh, the spirit flake things, which apparently duplicate 
your Welcome catches or give you better Squidly. catching or something. The pool. And I'm only a couple fishing levels away from being able to I catch sharks. I came here on no sleep in 36 hours. And then I could use all the spirit eight. flakes. Why? Why don't do that? Hello, you were the shiniest squidling. 17 months of subbing. Why the fuck you been awake for three days? I didn't want to slap Mr. Rachi. I, I want to slap the spider. But I feel like that's... I don't know. Maybe I'm starting to sink into the bad thoughts in RuneScape. That doesn't progress me, right? I mean, unless it drops something crazy. Oh, that's not three days. A day and a half is still way too long, though. Why that, then? I have a reward pool. I had 10 poor house fishing levels. Pale Sight, thank you for the 100 bitties. I appreciate it. Merch store has tons of beautiful assorted wearable swords. I mean memes. Is there anything new in there? I know Bren was working on something really fucking cool. But I don't know if it has come yet. Let me look. I don't know if it's finished. Load, please. Welcome, Not yet. Squidling. To the Not yet. Pool. So the newest one is still Harold oh. of Lang. I need all this in case I need it, such as life. Still chill on the same pile. It's gonna be a really fucking cool one coming though. Max Wiener! 81 months. You were the shiniest squidling. Thank you for the continued support. Pog, how you doing? Go to the bad thoughts. I don't like the next 200 plus hours of my clamp because pro progression greater than fun. I was like, I like killing them. I mean, it's probably worth, I'll probably get something worthwhile out of it. I just, it's probably a really low chance and it's probably not really worth my time to fight that boss. I just want it because it's fun. All right, give me cool stuff. Okay, that's a lot of, I want, these are cool. These are the things I want for sharks. That's garbage. Those are cool. Those are cool. That's lit actual trash. Dumpster. Doo-doo. A casket? Poopy. Anus. Some soaked pages, okay. Oh, still going. 24 planks! Actually, still going. There's five more rewards. Welcome Steel nails! Another casket! Raw lobsters. Okay, we get a good mess of spirit flakes. Okay, this is cool. Alright, that was neat. That's like 86 steel worth of stuff. Morning Veil! Vale. Join in team, lifeguard team. Who... Who got sub Twitch? Hi, sir. <laughs> Stop right there, Thanks. criminal scum! Oh, it had to... Oh my god! It had to go searching to find something worthy of a new team lifeguard team membership. Hidden fucking mono! You'll love to see it. <laughs> Welcome to Team Lifeguard Team. I wanted to make it count. A swordfish good healing and old school escape. See, I want to just throw a lot of this on the ground. No, I know you didn't pick it. I know you didn't. I saw it went through. Twitch just had to process that for an hour. God, I want it. I want to just throw it on the floor. I already have, bro. Okay, this is so doo doo butter. I don't want any of this crap. I'm not, like, I'm not. Get this shit out of here. <laughs> I'm not doing shit with this. We all know I'm not doing anything with that. Have some fish, the floor. What's in a casket? A rune chain body and 35 uncut jades. Okay. Sure. So the casket's just like bonus loot. Because it has but no Rick Turpentine also showed up while I was fishing. Fuck. Times two. What are jades? Fuck. Times three. What are jades good for? Come on, brain. What's jade? What crafting does it take to cut a jade? Like 11? How the fuck do you break half of them at 65? Why are you like this? Come on. How do you destroy the entire, like... 
Hold on, I have something for this. Hey, Fiji, you want this garbage? Here you go, eat an entire swordfish, tiny kitten. Enjoy. <laughs> Welcome, Squidling, to the Squidly Four tasks. Might as well hop on the train. With his known 73 months in a row. You with the shiniest squidling. Did Ruby cutting and did them all fine? Did Jade's break like five? Well, that's probably because you can't break rubies. You can only break the member gems. Oh, when I was like, where's did the rune chain body go? When to here? Because I actually keep one to wear as an uh, anti crush. Okay, um... Starting to get a need to do some pilot crafting XP. I don't remember what Jades do. Jades aren't... It's Opals are expeditious. Jade? I'm not gonna make this fucking mistake again. Jade is Flam Tear. I'm not gonna fuck that one up for the 58th time! Jade is Flam Tear. Probably some other stuff. I'm gonna go beat a spider to death. I don't care if it's not actually valuable account progress. I want to go beat a spider to death. Okay, kitten, you want to go fight a fuck huge spider? Let's go. Start listing down what gemstones make when enchanted. No, what do you fucking think? No, I didn't write it down. I'm just gonna continue relearning it every time I go to make jewelry. I know Opal's expeditious. All the bracelets are fucking useless except Opal and Red Topaz. Because Opal's expeditious and Red Topaz is slaughter. Which also seems useless, but people insist that making Slayer tasks be longer is beneficial sometimes. I really don't understand that. Pretty sure wearing a bracelet of slaughter is not going to make me get more points at the end. Jade is flam tear. And some necklace and some ring and some amulet. <laughs> I'll write it down someday. Today is obviously not that day. We haven't gotten to someday yet. We'll get there. All right, Halberd Strats, let's go. Give me this. Give me you, give me you, give me you, and you, and you. Uh, we put on the big boy necklace for a spooky spider fight. The ring of life in case of fucking emergency break ring. Don't break the ring. Um. We ended up bringing like five or six of these. I think this was the point of equilibrium. But I also need to bring one of you and one of you. That was the point of equilibrium, I believe. There's six where I could comfortably do two runs and sometimes I could do a third. I feel like I should probably put this cat away. I feel like <laughs> there's no place for a tiny cat. Go in the bank. Bank man, please take care of my kitten. I will be back for it later. If anything has happened to this kitten, I will kill everyone in this bank with the 200 death runes that I should have gotten when I killed the kitten. I mean, gave it to the gypsies in exchange for their runes. I'm not going to kill it. The kitten's going to be fine. Okay, so we're going to go swipe -o. This is not the place to farm XP. This is the place to kill a fucking spider. I go in. It's been a minute. I go in. I drink a drinka. I pray ranger. We slap a. Ooh. Sick flicks. I'm the best. And then we just fight the boss. No take damages is always the goal. Not taking damage, always a pretty high goal. Uh, but tiny spiders, we give one special attack so it can regenerate. 
Tiny spiders show up. We dump all of our special attacks with a fucking wizard. Oh, I gotta find a new world. This is a dumb dickhead. What the heck happened? Why is 478 so packed? What the fuck? I think I've seen like one other person here ever. Uh, well. Hello, fellow squid. Enjoy your spider. The fuck? Did something. Oh, did they change something with this spider? I've never had to hop more than once. A lot of people find a spider right now. Okay. Spider's popular today. Okay. Click this. Click this. Click this. Click this. It's dangerous. Enter. Slap spider. Okay. Hey! <laughs> oh, I turned around on. Sick double zero to start us off. You love to see it. It doesn't make me feel good when I start with 11 zeros. It doesn't make me feel great. Hit 47 fucking zeros in a row. This boss is incredibly streaky. I either hit 29,000 zeros or I rip half her health bar up in five seconds. There's no middle ground. It's usually 25,000 zeros. The boss is this, this is Seracnus, apparently. I found it. And its level wasn't that intimidating, so I'm fighting it now. This is gonna be a three prayer pot kind of fight. This is not a three kill trip. This is gonna be a two. Maybe if God is truly frowned upon us. Second double zero spec. This, this might be a one killer. This might be a one killer. I don't know if I've ever had a one kill trip since I actually like, figured out Halberd Strat. But if there's a one kill trip, it's this one. Ah, fuck. Oh, oh, ah, damn it. I guessed wrong. I guessed wrong. We're doing it. Yeah, we found a good strat. This was very spooky hell world the first couple of fights. But then we found this uh, Halberd strat here, which works really well, actually. Pretty consistent. It's pretty good. I don't. I only take damage during the ad phases, and the ad phases are incredibly fucking spooky. But she's found her own strat, which is just don't take damage. I gotta say, just don't get hit is a really good strat. It's one that I've told many a friend in jest, but I've never seen it put into practice quite as effectively as Seragnus is doing right now. Just don't get hit, forehead. Yeah, this is where I admitted Nick was right about pole arms. Yeah, it was this fucking spider. Turns out having reach is pretty cool. Reach is good. Okay, I think babies are due soon. So was a webbing? Ah, I guessed wrong. You can try to guess where she's gonna move. I'm pretty sure it's just a one in three chance to guess which corner she's gonna walk to, though I have found no consistency. There's probably something, but boy, I don't know what it is. Oh, 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 oh. Bad. Big specs, big specs. Eat food. Eat food. Oh, I forgot the, the sword and shield to make this part go a little faster. I was gonna bring a sword and shield to bop this dude down. Which we, I thought was still pretty good. I did think that was actually a pretty good uh, adaptation of the Halberd strat, because when you just try to fight him with a Halberd, this happens. And you stand here for 600 hours trying to not hit a zero on this guy. There we go. I'm back. Two. <laughs> yeah. 
pretty scuffed first wave, but it worked. Long weapon attacking from a distance, avoiding close contact, for example, the broom is also a common IRL spider tactic. <laughs> That's fair. You use pole arms to fight spiders in real life. They're just exactly like a broom handle, kind of a pole arm. God, son of a- I'm, I haven't been right a single time. I've guessed the wrong direction every single time so far. Surely she wouldn't walk back and forth across the back of the room a sixth consecutive time. It's gonna be here. <laughs> I think she makes a decision after I move. Like, her movement decision is based on where I decided to go. She definitely wouldn't walk back and forth across the back of the room a seventh consecutive time. Well, she absolutely wouldn't walk back and forth across the back of the room an eighth consecutive time. Aha! Zero. I got one additional zero in. It worked, me. Nope. Oh, that was a corner rock anyway. That's whatever. Windows, I don't know what you're doing right now, but fucking stop. Thank you. Stop right there, criminal scum! Yeah. You tell him. Fucking tell him. Tell Windows what's up. Oh, I don't like where I got pushed to. Not happy about that. This is not an approved space. Alexander! 33 months in the pool. You with the shiniest squidling. Pale sight, thank you for that duck. Fuck, I picked the wrong square. serenity has got an absolute banger of a boss track, though. I'll give him that. Aha! Read him like a book. So, 45 seconds, request the prime button. We'll do that before you talk. You know better. 33 months is enough time to know that you can't talk before you hit the prime button. Okay, I think it's almost time for the children. Hello, friend. Sorry, I'm aware that every Seragus world is occupied. Me slap. Okay. Let's take a drink before the lads come in. Ooh. I was worried they were going to spawn on his web. That'd be scuffed and I'd hate it. Uh, I think next, su next successful hit, I think, is Babs. Successful being not a zero. Ooh, don't do that. Come on. I think next not a zero. No? There it is. Oh, there's the fucking one shot! I'm getting absolutely, completely annihilated by orange. It's okay, annihilated him back, we're chilling. Forgot the sword board. You love to see the one shot! The one shot makes you feel good on your insides. That's what the halberd spec is for. Yeah, you can have one too. You want a spec here? You can have a spec. You feel left out? I have left I have a bunch of leftovers because the blue spider decided to die instantly, which is just fantastic. I love it when that happens. Good actually. So it's actually looking pretty standard. Gonna be. We took the orange spider fucked my ass so hard both cycles that I ended up using actually way more food than usual. So it's probably still a two kill trip just for the food. One time I killed Sir Agnes and she dropped a big pile of potatoes. So if she does that again, then maybe we can do a third kill. Otherwise, it's probably a two killer. It's all right. I'm just happy really that I've just figured out this stratagem. Orange is a dickhead, dude. Orange sucks. Orange Spider is so mad. I've definitely contemplated if it's worth killing him first, but it's not, because as much of an asshole as he is, Blue is a turbo asshole. Blue just doesn't get to live long enough to really show it because we kill her instantly. Blue fucking sucks. Kill the Marginal Special, take it to any weapon and kill them. If I get the 90 L specker again, otherwise I'm just gonna kind of slap until she falls over. I only got 28 health left. It's like two good hits. I don't get many hits, but 
Sometimes I get hits. I wasn't paying attention. Orange Lisa is trying to... Yeah, at least Orange has to, like... I have defense, and Orange has to physically hit me. There is the, uh, the forbidden strat, where I run up and start meleeing Seragnus point blank while Orange is up so I can pray melee. Sixty mithril or cool. Spanus does spawn the middle. Ha ha! She just whiffed, like regular style. That was just a regular miss. She just hit a zero. Stupid noob. Level 318, you can't even fucking hit me. You suck. You're trash. You're a trash spider. You're made of doo-doo. She's learning from me. The start of the fight's awkward, because he spawns in the middle of the room, and I'm not really sure how to handle that in a consistent manner. Is this the right square? Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was one square too far back. It's the center of the little green plus, but there's kind of a lot more green here than just four. Schlapper. You a sippy? Schlapper. Is there a particular drop we're getting for? Yes. Uh, after scientifically analyzing... So, so I looked this boss up on OSRS Wiki, uh, like I do everything I'm doing in the game to make sure I'm doing it as efficiently as possible. And uh, reading through the table, I saw that there was a 1 in uh, 512 drop chance of Seragnus's ass shooter, um, which is a web gun. Uh, and I thought it'd be pretty cool to... It's a really good, like, maging weapon. Um, and so I thought I would come down here and give it a couple kills. Uh, maybe if I could pick up a Seragnus's ass shooter. Uh, it would make us a little easier just like doing stuff on the regular big slayer task a little bit faster um, so No, I don't fucking know what I'm farming for but come on dude. Oh, come on I'm killing it cuz a big spider and maybe it dropped cool thing and also it's fun <laughs> I feel like I just like to poke the spider Those are the wrong squares. It's so big and pokeable. Whoa, we're reaming. We're on train on this bitch right now. So there's, there's no middle ground. Yeah, I wouldn't like it. Uh oh. Huh. I don't like this. Please hit it! Please! Hit it! Please hit it! Please! Please hit it! Please hit it! Thank you. I have never whiffed that many consecutive hits on the blue. <laughs> but hey, we we got to test out the fir I'm just gonna special because we're definitely leaving after this kill. I got to test out the uh Forbidden strategy of just bringing the orange dude to her and pray melee. We got to try the forbidden strat. It did seem promising. Definitely last fucking kill this trip. Jesus, stop walking. She's just walking. You have to do attacks between walks. Mom said you have to give me a chance to hit you. Yeah, it's far and away to closer come to death. No! They've come way closer to death than that. You clearly were not here for our first, like, three Seragnus kills. <laughs> Where we came much closer to dying than that several times in every fight. <laughs> like, much, much closer. No, that was chilling. That was just awkward. I didn't like it. I killed two more sets of spawns at three caravans. 
That was just weird, and I wasn't happy about it. If I hadn't switched to Prey Melee, that would have been very, very spooky. But honestly, that situation was probably better than most of the ones I intentionally do. Because it'd be hard to engineer, because only the blue spider could hit me. And you guys are actually right, the blue spider doesn't do a lot less damage. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck this Ring of Life does. I'm assuming it doesn't kick in unless I actually die, but like... It might just make me feel better, it might just be a teddy bear. You're gonna go here. I'm gonna kill you on the next spit. I'm wrong. Okay, I was one spit off. Also, I was wrong about the destination. I was wrong about every possible thing. Hi ya! Slap. Yeah, you bitch. I don't like that one, do you? I don't feel good, huh? I poke you with my poking poker. Oh, I just had a thought. I actually have a poking poker. I wonder if poking is more effective. It'd be kind of hard to tell notably because, like, just do the general fact it's a boss. My hit chance is pretty bad in general. I'm gonna give it some, some science of the poking poker and see how it goes. Because I've only tried slasher. Poke. Now, granted, this is not a large sample size. But I gotta say, the poking poker doesn't really seem to be doing great. That'd be alright. Hey, that's almost half of a cat! That's almost half of the kitten I put away to come fight this spider. <laughs> yeah, I feel like... Logically, it would be a lot harder to poke because it's like a big net of legs, right? I don't know how much logic applies in RuneScape, but I feel like logically slashing would be the way to go. An argument could also be made for crushing vis-a-vis -vis that's how you fight a traditional spider is you smack them with a fucking newspaper. Uh, but Seragnus is a lot, I would say, larger and just in general than a traditional spider. And do this size differential between Seragnus and your average garden spider. I don't think that really translates. It's probably slashing. If there's a if there is a meaningful difference between the combat styles, like the melee styles, I mean, it's probably slashing. You can cut yourself on a newspaper, so slash is still an option. That's fair. Also, the whole point is halberd strat, so like I don't have I can't crush with this, so like it's irrelevant. Unless I get a reach mallet, then it doesn't actually matter, because <laughs> that's not an option. I don't know how you would conceivably get a reach crushing weapon? Oh, defensive is also stab. What is the stat-wise? What are the stats? I'm way better on slash, right? Yeah, slashes. So even with a weakness, with a halberd in general, slashes just Welcome way higher. So I probably want to use this just because it's slashing. Pool. Twitch is real slow at hand now give subs today, but it's it's trying. I don't want to say it's doing its best because that just seems like it's inaccurate. But it's doing, it's doing something. There, found one. Suspicious truck. Three months in the squiddy pool. You were the shiniest squiddling. All right, I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do, like, one more one more little adventure. I like fighting the big spider. Because it feels like I'm actually doing something where I can die. There is a death chance. It's a real fight. I guess I can grab the sword and shield. I guess I should grab the thing I was talking about, huh? The thing I explicitly said I should certainly have. Not, no. If we're going for two, I'll just bring two less camp ones. I feel like this is wildly overkill in prayer potions. But also a prayer potion does a lot more than a caram one. So dropping a prayer potion 
drops the amount of time I can play stay before prayer is an issue by like 15% and dropping a carom one drops the amount of time I can stay before food is an issue by like 2%. <laughs> A potion is like Thor food. I wish there was just a fucking healing potion. I guess that'd be overpowered as shit. For the reasons discussed. You guys are weak. I guess you couldn't realistically have like a four dose food. I mean, there's the. Okay, there's the. What is it? The Guthix Rest? that we got from that one quest. So I guess, I guess there's technically a healing potion. There is legally Gothic's rest. Doesn't fucking count. That heals for like two a sip. Hello, it is me. Yeah, food's the healing potion. I have a great many healing potions. They're called food. Tatcha, 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 tatcha. Hello! So the trick is, even if you're not confident what square you're supposed to be standing on, if you're in the two rows lined up with the web doors... Oh, that's a fucking hit right there! I got, I got more where that came from, boy! You'll never be in Sir Agnes's melee range because she never walks... All of her corner spots are laterally too far from this. hi -ya! <laughs> That's what I like to see. I like to fucking see. Come here. Over here. Let me show you something. Fucking. <laughs> oh, you fucking nerd! Alright. <laughs> that went a lot better. You gotta love them zero carom one cycles. <laughs> I just came in here to rip your fucking legs off, Seracnus! I'm pissed about the last couple kills. I ain't fucking playing around anymore. This is boss fighting! <laughs> One shot the blue dude. Take total like 12 damage from the orange dude. Back to poking. Spec him for like 31. Ah, oh, God, it feels good. Feels progress. Do it, hiss at me. Fucking idiot. Ah, oh, it's a cross corner. That's okay. It means I can slap you while you're walking. Just kidding. I can't. I lied to you. I'm sorry. This is a slap. 21. Wine is basically a healing potion. Okay. Wine is food. Wine is just food that you drink. Aha! Every now and then I'm right. It's infrequent, but it does happen. Getting a Sir... Yeah, it's... It's not impossible we could get a Sir Agnes drop before we have inventory space. It's functionally impossible, because I'd have to have two sets of minions go extraordinarily well like that. And I'd have to not take another sip of prayer potion. So I'd have to also run absolute fucking train on Sir Agnes. Which we did when we first stepped in the door. But we'd have to, like, run more train. Like, every swing from here out needs to be, like, a 20. It's theoretically possible I could kill Sir Agnes before I have an inventory space. It's just like, I love that variance. The chance of getting my ass beat. Because this I still have the hardcore helmet. As long as I have the hardcore helmet, the chance of getting murdered is invigorating to me. Which is why I'm not going to have it for much longer. Because doing shit that can kill me is exciting. Why the fuck I get pushed all the way to hell over here? Hey, that's illegal. You're going to get a spec because you're taking forever. Patented double zero special attack. Sandily 101. Alright, yeah, let's make an inventory space. And a 14 regular auto attack. And a 19 regular auto attack. Where were you on a special? The babies are coming soon. I should probably figure out. Because I can see her health value. There's babies. What? -a! He hits so hard. Why does this fucking minion do so much damage? Little dickhead. 
Yeah, I brought a shield now. You can't fondle me quite as effectively. It's still pretty effective, I'd say, but it's definitely less effective than it was previously. The effectiveness is, has gone down an amount. Special just opened up for defenses. She was spent defending off the halberd specs, so the next two hits landed great. No, 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 Cass. No, you don't, you don't do that. You know better than that, Cass. You stand in the middle, and you slash your dumb little legs off. Give her the chops. Fucking damn it. Give her the chops, Cass. It's kind of funny that all the armor that I'm wearing is exclusively for the orange spider. But it also covers me in case of a pants pooping in the Seragnus engagement where I get she gets to melee me or something. But all of the armor, all the rune, it's really just for the orange baby. How do I get shoved so far? How are you gonna Sobek toss me behind you into the corner you just left? You can't do that, Seragnus. It's illegal. It's cheating. Your candy. Why do you even have 60 mithril ore? Is there mithril ore in the cave? Where did you get 60 mithril ore? I got a bunch of red dragon hide from you once. I understand where that came from. I'll, I'm willing to hand wave runes. But where did you get a stack of mithril ore? And when did you time to find time to stop by the bank and note it? I want more lore friendly boss drops, like the egg sack. Which is basically a hundred noted red spider eggs, but it makes sense in game. She ate a dwarf. The dwarves even live? Zaya? There even dwarves here? You're about to get a bonus fucking special attack. Are you getting a bonus fucking special attack? Hutcha! Bandit double zero! Sure, we mean business. A zero followed by another zero. Not anymore because she ate the wall. <laughs> you got me there. Better than anyone? Chaos runes. Can I stand here? She has spawned top of my head. Hit this. Turn this on. Sippy. Sippy. She's figured out how to hit me. Uh, I gotta. I now I'm. I'm more comfortable that I have another a decent system. I know auto retaliate's bad. Auto retaliate can lead to bad things. I remember. I actually do not want that on here because it can lead to me running into her face. All right. Oh yeah, Lova Kang. Uh, I forgot Lova Kang and existed. To be honest with you, <laughs> I absolutely forgot Lova Kang and was the place. Uh, it's got a shitload of dwarves here, huh? An entire city. Ha! My slow reaction speed allowed me to get an additional hit. We were walking to the place because I guessed wrong. You would forget about dwarves, you ham member. Does ham hate dwarves? Ham doesn't hate dwarves, do they? Ham hates like goblins. You gotta move. Uh, I should eat though. I'm getting fucking bullied. Oh my god, please, Jesus! Take the fucking wheel! This is fine. Everything's fine. I may not be able to finish this kill. It's, uh, it's looking questionable. I may not, I don't know that we're finishing this kill. I want to level with you guys. I don't know that we're finishing this kill. That was the most absolutely fucking asinine minion set I have ever experienced. I don't know that we're finishing this. Here's the plan. Okay, first step one, get in the right place. Step two, hit the spider. Step three, paraphernalia. <laughs> That's the fucking plan. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, they had to get me back for the perfect minion set earlier. With the worst possible minion set. 
That was the worst thing that could happen. Where you going? Damn it. Thought I could another hit him. I guess I have... Prayer potions can be food if I'm willing to invest humongous amounts of time. A prayer potion is like an incredibly bad healing potion. Since rapid heal exists. So like, if you think about it, but did you die, though? I mean, I guess no. Barely. I ate about 10 carom wands in five seconds. I would consider bringing pineapple pizzas, too, now that I had, like, renew renewable access to them because they're a greater quantity of healing per item. But I may have actually died there if I had pineapple pizzas. Eh, it's only three less. I think a carom wands 14 and a pineapple pizza bites 11. Might be better to bring pineapple pizzas. Or let me stay for an additional trip sometimes. If I was a mad lad, I could prayer flicks, Arachnus. Theodore and Marshmallow were greatly concerned about my outbursts. They're both at the door. They look very worried. That or they just want to go play in the pen. I'm not sure which. They either want to go play in the pen or they're worried about me. Or it's some combination of the two. Or possibly the food bowl on top is empty. I'm not fucking switching to rats right now, but I'll switch to rats after this uh, fight's over. One shot, please. Oh, it wasn't even close. That was terrible. Oh, this is ass booty, dude. This is the bootiest butt cheeks that have ever happened. Well, we could probably finish the kill if this spider doesn't Sheboygan me, which he might. Okay. Good news, we can finish the kill, everybody. We are allowed to finish the kill. It took literally all of my food, which was extremely over. Oh no 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 Assert dominance with the old zero zero. Well, here honestly, I can fucking rat vibe check at this point because like this is this is just I exist until the boss falls over. Now you're not missing anything but a bunch of zeros. Theodore has retreated up into the log cabin. He has returned to Bratwurst. I think the top food bowl is empty, is what it is. Because Marshmallow's down there munching. I think it's empty because Marshmallow ate literally all of the food in the food bowl and then went downstairs to continue eating all of the food in the second food bowl. <laughs> Red vibe? Hangry. Hangry rat. We're getting there. I think I hit her like twice while I was on the rat cam. Grab this and then we'll eat us. We'll hit big eat us. Give her a special attack. Pudja! From the makers of James Bond 007. Cassandra Lee 10 and then a 7. Blood Rinse. Very magic heavy day in Serenus. Good. Couple of kills in there. Eleven Seragnus bonks. It's a very expansive drop table, it seems, because I... I've seen Mithril Ore twice, but I don't think I've seen anything else twice. I think in eleven kills, we've had ten unique drops. Which is pretty neat, actually. That's super neat. That's a pretty big drop table. I dig it. I dig the hell out of it. There's so much science to be had. How can one rat consume so much obesity? 
The answer you're looking for is obesity. Also, he's probably stress eating on account of the eye thing. No, he's not. He's just fat. <laughs> he ain't stress eating shit. He's just fucking fat. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Oh, it's probably stress. No, he's just fucking fat, dude. Like that's that's really it. It's a very simple relationship. Oh, how's this thing, by the way? It's almost a half. I'm almost halfway out of gas on my really cool necklace. That's okay. Someday, perhaps, I'll return to Shades of Mortan and get another really cool necklace. But for the time being, we're about half on the really cool necklace. Okay, cat. I need you to finish growing, please. He's only 20% over the higher end of normal weight. Yeah, he's only 20% obese. When we took him to the vet, one of the things I learned is that he's not as exorbitantly fucking fat as I thought he was. He's like regular fat. Because apparently, an adult male rat is supposed to weigh somewhere in the neighborhood of a pound and a half. And he's like... a little under two pounds. So he's not that fat. He's just, like, morbidly obese. Not, like, my 600-pound life obese. He's just, like, probably would use a disability scooter at Walmart for no other reason than because walking makes his ankles uncomfortable obese. But that's not true either, because he climbs all over the place. Their cage has a, a lot of activities, and he is perfectly capable of zooping up and down the cage. Okay, I bapped the spider a couple of times. Um, what else could we do? I know what we should do. I had a thought. Which was this. Because if 50 we get this, I can make portals. Yeah, I can boost to that right now, but, like, I, I also should... There's also a portal nexus... Which is apparently different. And a dungeon! For some reason. What in the hell am I gonna do with a dungeon? Imprison political opponents? Like, who's going to Cassandalee's dungeon? <laughs> Sex. <laughs> yeah, no, 20% overweight. He's really not that overweight. It's not even like obese. He's just, it's just fat. I wouldn't even say 20% is obese. 20% is fat. He can be fat. Fat's okay. All right, what do I actually need? So this, if I'm going to do construction, if I'm going to do homes with my mahogany, it can be a Varric. It can be in Falador. It can be an Artie. It can be in Hasidious. So that means I need... This would be nice. Then I need to be able to teleport... Only to Falador and Hasidious. Which is home teleport. God, Hasidious house is so much value. It's next. It is farming patch. It's mahogany homes. And then... I need a saw, does this work? Can I mahogany hums with my fancy tools? Can I be a fancy boy? I'd like to be a fancy boy. What about much steel? And Ocus Plancus. Because we have a decent amount of income now. Which means it's not as fucking painful to do construction because I can produce money via the Varric Medium Diary. Well, you not want a sex dungeon. We can go back to having everything return to Dominatrix. We don't need to have everything return to Dominatrix. Novice. Well, I didn't realize 50 also unlocks a new tier. East of the town? Yeah, that's this lady. 
Thank you for sending me to the same town. I appreciate you. You're great. I don't know if I can use these tools. I don't know if I can use the thick Bacchus and the fancy crystal. Sorry. Are you a Leela? Yes. Hello, Leela. This bed is trash. Oh, I absolutely get to use my swag tools. Feels fucking good. There's 48. Easiest game I've ever played. I ain't reading all that shit. Summarize in one word. Repair broken sink. Maybe Cass wants to have a nice, quiet date at home. In her basement. That she converted into a sex dungeon. Got you. Cup of tea, please. Thank you. 100% run energy. That's so fucking convenient. My cat's fully grown, which is good because I forgot to bring food for him. <laughs> so that works out pretty well. Next time we're in RDL, I'll sell him to the gypsies. Angelo? Like a contract, sir. Bob and Northeast Varric. Be there in a moment. It's the opposite side of Eric for my teleport, too. The Gilinor Dream! A white picket fex and a fence, fex, fence and a sex dungeon in the basement. What more could a player ask for in their own house? I don't know, teleporters? And a bank. It seems like one of those fantasies I could make come true. Two of them if we can't the sex dungeon is a fantasy. Gives a whole new meaning. You know a dungeon? A dungeon really, it's got a lot of connotations to it, of course. But a dungeon is a very flexible room in a home, right? You can use a dungeon for several things. You can use it to be gay or do crime. It's really just like the ultimate room for Cassandra Lee. It's like fucking perfection. You sure you don't want me to replace the other one? Alright. I mean, I ain't here to ask questions. I'm just here to fix your furniture. Fuck. God damn it. Low rolled that shit. I think we rolled like the maximum number of pieces of furniture that could have. I was hoping I wouldn't have to go back more planks. Usually... I guess I could put this away. You can usually bonk out two of them without having to go back. But I feel like I just max rolled two houses in a row. You gotta make one just for the theme. Just for the branding. Why not both? That's fair. And I didn't really consider that. You could use a sex dungeon to both be gay and do crime. There really is pretty much limitless potential. Senior Scrotes. <laughs> Imagine not playing with player names on. You'd miss such absolute gems as Senior Scrotes. I don't know if when you act the file away, you need that one click teleport against bad things happen building furniture. Look, I've clearly demonstrated via the shit fiesta that was that third Seragnus attempt that even if everything goes horribly wrong, and I am within pissing distance of immediate death that I'm not going to click the teleport. Welcome, and I'm just going to scream a lot and kind of hope pool. shit works out. So, like, the active file is really just a comfort blanket. Hi, Dad! How you doing? You with the shiniest squidling. Dang, for the 50 months! Can you guys believe that my own father has supported my content for slightly over four of the ten years I've been doing it? I only had a sub button for like seven. North of East Artie. Go to Artie, you say? I'll go to Artie. I have business there. It involves a cat. How's dad stuff? How's general existence? Noella. North of East Artie Market. Well, that's actually way the fuck out of the way from the teleport. I'm definitely gonna run out of run sauce before we get there. That bitch is way out left field. Where is the door? The door is there. I would like to go to the Ardwine wall door, please. 
Waldor sounds like it could be a city or a clue step of an anagram variety. My cat refuses to pass into West Arty. He knows his fate. Hey, right, stupid idiot. You got impatient. He couldn't wait more than eight seconds. Time to be death runes. I feel like there's a weird... Whoops. That's not a civilian. That's a person with a name for some reason. That's a woman. How are none of you civilians? Thank you for the death runes. That implies that Carla and that random woman are military assets. I should probably take them down for national security. Yeah, I could run energy there if I had to stop to drop a cat off for 200 death runes. Streams die a few minutes ago? No, uh, if by a few you mean like two hours and nine minutes ago, then yeah, it absolutely died. But if it was you mean a few minutes ago as in a smaller number than that, that's just you. I haven't had any issues since. Okay, yeah, my, uh, my router whole ass died like a little over two hours ago. You know, sometimes I have been guilty I'm saying, hey, you remember that thing we were talking about a couple days ago when we were talking about X? Yeah, in 2019? Yeah, a couple days ago. So I was thinking about that. <laughs> so I could absolutely see a couple minutes being two actual hours. Cancun was good. Turned my ankle on some first-rate Mexican civil engineering. Christy messed up her shoulder. Okay. So, my parents went to Cancun and apparently came back with just a bunch of injuries. But it sounds like it was a good time for all involved. <laughs> I hope this is not the fate of my vacation that I am taking next week. Because I am traveling a dramatically shorter distance and staying within the continental United States. In the realm of places that we can drive with our car, so... You know, I appreciate you're setting the bar low. Yeah, I really like that you softballed it in there for me. You're setting the bar low. All we have to do is not both come back with injuries. And I'll consider it a success. One of us can even get injured. We just have to not both get injured. <laughs> And his girlfriend. Hey, Bren. Rats might have eaten my girlfriend. It's possible I might have to go back to the girlfriend store and find a new girlfriend. I'm not sure. No signs of life. It doesn't look good. Tea, please. Thank you. Alright, so we're stop by this. Depending on whether they tell me to teleport, I'll either hit this bank before I leave or I'll throw the bank. Five check rats. Rats? Did you eat my girlfriend? Ooh, he might have. Ooh, he's too fat to fit in the house. The entire booty of the rat is hanging out of the house. It's very possible. That's definitely sus. I'm gonna follow that one under sus for sure. My liver turned in its two week notice on Wednesday. It's a high bar. Alrighty. Well, we've got the standard set. We know what the time to beat is. We have to come back with less than two injuries and mild alcohol poisoning. Yeah, I think. That's all but guaranteed, seeing as neither of us drink. I think we're... We're looking real, real positive here. This level's so fucking fast. I mean, granted, it's below 50. It's by a fairly significant margin, one of my lower skills. 
I mean, runecrafting exists, but if we ignore runecrafting, it's about my lowest skill. Clock. I was like missing something. He's not done. Hey, Larry. I got you covered, fam. Give me a cup of. I'll swing by the bank since it's literally on the way. I have 73 points. What do points do? I've never contemplated that I'm- I'm just doing this for construction XP, like, the experience is just so fucking good. I've never considered that I'm also accumulating some flavor of a currency. So... What the fuck is the currency? Okay, it takes a lot of points. Ooh, I can get an outfit. There's <coughs> carpenter's gear. There's Amy's saw. There is a plank sack. And there is a winter toad supply crate. And there is Hasidious blueprints. Hasidious blueprints cost as much as the entire carpenter set, for reference. So I know from Prospector and Angler, which is cheated knowledge, that there are generally sets that give you more experience. Seems very likely that that construct, uh, the constructor set may actually give me bonus construction XP, which would be hella good. <laughs> Can I get an herbalism outfit, please? Can I have, like, a druid costume? Maybe. Learned the other day that the ham robes were worth decent GE dollars. So I'm able to buy some planks to more mahogany. So you want to know a secret, Mirne? You're not going to be happy about it, but... When you're... I guess you're members. It's not like you're free to play or anything. You're just low leveled. When you're generally low leveled... I'm pretty sure... You have to make significant progress before you pass just farm cowhide's forehead as your premier moneymaker <laughs> on a non-iron account. Honestly, I'm not even positive the money triangle is better than just farm cowhide's forehead. It's just such a stupid amount of money from cowhide's. Forty-nine construction. I unlocked a treasure hunt fairy house, which is a sentence. <laughs> There's probably other weird shit that's doable, but I mean, I'm almost certain unless ham rubs are worth way more than I think they're. I'm almost 100% positive. Whoops. That cow hides is going to be better than ham rubs. Unless you know of a consistent way to ha get ham robes that I don't know about. We need to get some ham robes, so I was trying to get those to real, so I just purchased them the process made some bonus cash. Oh, with the extra pieces, I see. I see, so it wasn't like something you were trying to do for money. Really, cow hides are just worth a stupid amount. Unless things have changed massively, because... Last I saw, there were three digits in the price of a cow hide. So just imagine every cow you can kill in two seconds drops a hundred fucking gold. I guess they'd have to kill a hundred cows to get the amount of money that you get from the money triangle. So it might not be better than the money triangle. But man, sometimes it can take a fucking minute to get to the top of the money triangle. For sure. You're really confident that you don't want that right cabinet replaced. Really confident. He's just a big proponent of the mismatch. He's going to do it again. By God, Bob's house is going to hit me with the exact same roll. He's going to hit me with the you learned nothing. Give me the exact same maximum furniture roll. Maybe go back to the bank again. Can't mind the travel from the cash. You only get 20 in inventory, so banking is a pain. That's true, I suppose. But... Sir, 
surely there's a group of cows that are much closer to a bank than the Lumbee cows. I just don't bother to look at it at all, and I just go to the Lumbee cows. Because I, you know, out of my heart, and as demonstrated by my gameplay, I'm a complete fucking noob. So, you know, the noob strat's never really gonna die. There's a new player two weeks who rushed agility to do pyramid, money triangles, love, money triangles, life. Until I got the ability to cap battle staves, money triangle was almost literally 100% of my, uh, my GP. That's pretty much it. That's already was what I was thinking. But then I was like, yeah, it's actually kind of far still. I feel like there's somewhere there's probably cows butt humping a bank. How many cows are outside you kneel? There's at least a couple. And I fucking refuse to bank with four empty slots in my inventory. Just on principle. I keep forgetting where this guy is till I'm halfway there. Town and Faldor, I got you. Bazamp! Faldor South. Well, that's a pretty- I think that's further Nardoins. There's the Nightmare Zone cow. Is there really just one cow there? There's cows here. That's not super close to the bank either. Damn. Oh, is Artie actually the best? Artie might be the best. Hi, Tao. I'm here to replace your furniture for the greater good. Please don't shoot me. Thank you. Player old PC I built is just randomly shutting down when I play the game. Feels bad, man. Oh, that's awful. Random fucking shutdowns are the worst shit ever, because that... Random shutdowns are up there with literally any audio issue on just extreme difficulty to diagnose for no fucking reason. The Nightmare Zone Cow is kinda a meme, is it? I wouldn't know. I would not have that knowledge. We run out of planks! Might have to make some more planks may require additional planking. Just an east already. I can do that one off I go. Yeah, and you better fucking hope it's not your GPU. Oh, so the building south of just this one. Or you're gonna be spending like, you know, $3,000 on a GPU that wasn't made in 1996. Because cryptocurrency actually just ruined everything forever, and I don't know if we're ever gonna recover. As a society. So hopefully it's- yeah, it's still that bad. You think it's changed in like three years? It hasn't. That's- there's a point where you have to accept this is just how life is now. It's been like three years. You have to let go. This is just how it is now. It's not- like a still, this GPUs are just a thousand dollars. Like, that's just for the rest of time. That's just how it is. Crypto isn't going to be less of a thing. Where is Jess? She's in there. Screams incoherently. Yeah, that's ruined forever. I'm fucking confident on that one. I'm gonna have to make more planks, man. Fuck. I have an idea. I want to make more oaks. Because they're about to get teaks. So we're gonna attempt a task. 
and that is to make a bunch of teak planks. Maybe get fucked. I mean, I'll use them anyway. So, like, the worst I get fucked is I have to also go make oak planks. But I make a bunch of teak planks. Go to my house. Drink the tea that gives me a construction boost. Teleport to Falador. So I think I have to teleport its closest to the Mahogany Homes thing. See if I can accept a medium contract. <laughs> fuck this shit. I want a fucking woodcutting guild. This shit's so far away. Holy fuck. That is so much further than I remember. I'm on a fucking woodcutting guild. I'm already halfway there and I'm leaving. I can't even get one for 1k. Turned to upgrade to a 3060 for a year. Yeah. Yeah, like a standard consumer cannot purchase a GPU anymore. You have to either get incredibly lucky or you have to buy like a five year old GPU or you have to find one second hand. But that, that's, you're right. It, a standard consumer can no longer purchase a GPU made in the last half of a decade. And again, I really don't expect that to ever change. I don't think crypto is going anywhere. Until the method by which fucking Bitcoin mining changes, if ever. Which would require them to reach parity with the cost of literally an entire PC. Because the alternative is a MOBO and CPU. How bad is this? It's 500 a piece. 20 times 500 is like a thousand, so it's like 3,000. That's not bad at all. I can make Tegas. Yeah, pre built still work because obviously the bigger companies still have supply chain. But in what is possibly the greatest irony of our time, when technology finally marched forward enough that your average person could build by parts, build Welcome, a PC themselves. Everything became simplified pool. enough that, that basically anyone, it's not out of reach for anyone, really. Once anyone in a blue moon on the insert in day of the week, a new hand touches it. the beacon, but it's not a new hand, it's an old weird tentacle hand from the bottom of the lake that occasionally yeah, leaves its roost to destroyed. personally shovel shinies and then leaves high squid. Hi, Aroku san. You're the shiny squidling. Thank you for the 49 months. The tier two. How's the cool guy penthouse treating you? <laughs> What's GPU have to do with crypto? So basically, you need processing power to... I'm just going to skim over what mining Bitcoin is. Basically, if you have processing power to dedicate, you can very fucking slowly generate cr uh, cryptocurrency. Um... For 99.9999999% of people that are doing it, they are literally not making money. Because the amount of money they are spending on their fucking power bill at their house is overtaking the incredibly, pointlessly tiny amount of crypto they're mining. But people are very dumb and don't think... And don't see the power bill dollars, they just see the incredibly tiny amount of money coming in from seemingly nothing with the crypto and continue doing it. Buying a motherboard and a CPU to basically build a secondary PC to mine is much more expensive. Well, now it's just kind of a bit more expensive than buying a GPU. And a GPU has its own processing power. It's got its own processing unit. That's what it is. It's a graphical processing unit. But you can take that processing power in a GPU and dedicate it to mining just like you could a CPU. Since that's cheaper to do, it's cheaper to get a PC or even like a fucking server desk and just jam nine GPUs in it to mine your $20 a month in Bitcoin. That's what people do. So... Thusly, supply and demand happens. You cannot get a modern GPU for less than four digits. Did he turn around? Oh no, there's been an exodus. That white lump on the left of the log is Marshmallow. Oh no, they can't all fit in the rat house. 
They can't all fit in the rat house. Oh, we went back in the rat house. Never mind, he can fit in the rat house. <laughs> He can muscle his way in if he really wants it. He's he's just got to bring his chalk to bear. I think Marshmallow was just elected to sleep outside because it's overcrowded in there and it probably got too warm. When you put four of Rat in one house, it gets very warm inside the house. So then rats will slowly trickle outside until it's too they're too cold again. And then they'll all pile back in the house until temperature parity is reached and they're overheated and they want to go back outside again. Rat status, pretty comf. I think I'll just make all my teak logs into planks, why not? And I guess that adds a thing I need to AFK. Are there teaks in the woodcutting guild? There aren't, right? There are not. There's not hardwoods. I guess I'm going to Castle Wars. That's the only place that I actually know of. That's my teak farm. I go to Castle Wars and I walk down to that tree and I punch it and then I teleport back to Castle Wars and bank. Time to burn through some rings of dough and get in teakus. Companies these days to start making graphics cards with no video output to sell specifically for crypto miners, normal people can buy the real ones. And apparently, Nvidia is already doing that and it's not even helping. That's how high the fucking demand is. All that effort for twenty dollars a month. Why does God let these people exist? I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are people who have any semblance of a clue what they're doing, and you know, are profiting. Like they actually have a server rack set up with enough GPUs. And it's efficient enough that they can make an amount of money off of this. It's spare processing power. That's, again, not what 99% of the people using GPOs to mine crypto are doing. They are, maybe, maybe half of them are breaking even with their power bill. Maybe. Probably not, though. That's probably being incredibly generous. People are very stupid. Now, this, this may surprise you. But, boy... People are fucking stupid. <laughs> and they're extra stupid when money's involved. I think that's actually the maximum amount of stupid that you can wring out of a human being is man brain plus money. And that's true that yeah, the Bitcoin farmers are just buying both. Boy, animals sure are stupid. Something something crypto mining. <sighs> yeah. Wait, no, give me the coal hammer. Coal hammer and the cool saw. I'll bring three steel. Actually, put the steel away. I can't. I actually can't really grab the stuff yet. Cause I gotta make the tea stuff first. Boy, animals sure are dumb. Okay. Need to make my house look less sad is the goal. What I just grab? No. I want tea. And I want tea making supplies. I need a kettle and a teapot and a cup. Okay, kettle plus Sad fucking pump sink that I hate. Kettle plus sad little brick oven that I hate. Tea leaves plus teapot. Wait for tea to whistle. Kettle boils. Take kettle. Kettle, teapot. Okay, now that's teapot, empty cup. Now this part has to be done pretty quickly. Yes.
It works. The system works. We're doing it. Are there mods in Stardust account that I can watch? There absolutely are. Um, over... I should make the Cassandra Lee things a playlist. The problem is, uh, a lot of the times when I sit down to stream, I don't play Just RuneScape. So I can put them all in a playlist, but you just let to skip through some games, some other games. But over on YouTube, there is the entire chronology of all of these. Hexie, are you here? I don't think they're in a playlist. I need level 50 to build this stuff, too. Did not consider that part. Didn't think about that, dude. Did not think about that part. Oh, fuck. Well, <laughs> this is a problem. <laughs> There's no playlist. Yeah, they're all there, but it's... I, 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 let me write that actually on my to-do list. Let me absolutely put that on my to-do list. Cassandra Lee YouTube playlist. There's a path, that, should, that should absolutely be a playlist. They are all there, but you'll have to find them. But I will, I will get them together for sure. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Can I repair this... I also don't have the materials, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it would tell me I need 50. Uh, okay, so thoughts. Uh, I need 3k XP. I forgot the planks too, but the level requirement's a problem. Can I repair... the hat stand? And the oven? Or do those require 50 now? There's an old school RuneScape playlist on your YouTube. Oh, really? They might have the cursed times in it. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Do you have anything else that needs repairing? Sir, I regret to inform you that you're just not going to have drawers for a while. Um. I wish you the best of luck. I mean, that's fair. There were the four times are like a thing that happened, like it existed. I played a little bit before we did this. Okay, here's the plan. This isn't even a rocking chair. This is dog shit. Get me in a build mode. We got to build traditionally. Like some kind of peasant. It's okay, I can do that. Yeet this bitch. Give me a fancier armchair. These chairs look like shit. It's okay, I can do some upgrades to my home while I work on this. Uh, what else can I do with teaks? Um, this looks like it's probably shit. Yeet this. Tea table. Uh -huh. That looks much better. Can't fit carved teak table, but we can get that on a follow-up adventure. Yeet this shit. Get it out of here. It's trash. Carved teak dining bench. Oh, that actually looks worse. I don't really like that. Well, it's individual pieces you could pull back, so it'd be way less annoying to use in practicality than the giant church pew. So that's probably better. Okay. We're doing good. One out of ten stars. She came to my house, disassembled my drawers, and didn't make a new one. Yeah, okay, well, I will admit that happened, but hear me out. Fuck. <laughs> I also did it to myself. It's a tough day in the Cassandra Lee household. Fuck. All right, hold on. Um... What does this need? <gasps> ah! Oh no! Oh, my sink's gone forever. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Hold on, my sink's gone forever. <laughs> what do I need to build this? <laughs> ah! Okay, I need a lot of steel. Hold on, I need a lot of steel. <laughs> ah! 
I'm just fucking my house! I need more steel! Help! Okay, I've made... <laughs> what might be... Viewed as some bad choices in the last five minutes. Now... That may be true. <laughs> okay, we can fix this. We can fix this! We have the technology! We can fix- Put all this shit back in the bank! We're smelting steel! I'll be, I'll be back! I gotta go to bank! Alright, hold on. <laughs> Watched one man destroy his entire house. What a series of really poor decisions. You sound like my grandpa when he ran him in his kitchen. I think I sound like... Probably most people who are like, Nah, I can- we don't need to hire somebody. If we want to redo our kitchen, I can do it myself. It's probably most people who made that decision. This is a real... Li Art imitates life. You know, it's really just amazing how well that old school RuneScape manages to represent day by day life in this fantasy world. Sometimes a sexy blue lady tells you to go kill a bunch of stuff and she'll let you touch your chest. Sometimes you try to renovate your own kitchen and you just fuck everything. So it's like, it's a very realistic experience. <laughs> <sighs> this is a fun game. I like RuneScape. I like playing RuneScape. It makes me happy. True to life. My therapist told me not to listen to the sexy blue lady anymore, not since the incident. This is a fun game. I enjoy this video game. We have a good time here playing RuneScape. Are we efficient? Not even remotely. I spent 40 minutes killing Seracnus four times. I'm sure many people would frown greatly upon that. But you know, I'm having a good fucking time. Alright, hold on. I may have fucked this more severely than I thought. Uh, did you guys know? It's... Not... Okay. It's okay, hold on, I can fix this! I can fix this! No, <laughs> stand by! This is fi- everything is fine. Don't panic. This is fine. This is all... This is fine. <laughs> I just need to go mine some coal. Uh, because it's actually two coal to a steel. Is a thing, not one. And look at the amount of coal that I had. Saw... 25. My brain said, 25's enough steel to fix this problem. I need twice that many? That was, that was a halvesies. I don't have to RuneScape censoring. It's pretty good. It has a hard time. It does its best. Guys, I'm excited to play the new Resident Evil. So, it has reached the level of exposure that as a man who has only technically played any Resident Evil before has no interest and is in fact not actually interested in horror games at all. I have seen through meme exposure I am aware of Big Titty Goth GF as apparently the main antagonist of the new game for some reason. Did they... Am I missing something? Or, like, was that intended? There's no way they didn't know that that was how the internet was going to react. There is absolutely no chance that they thought anything else was going to happen. 
but it's also Resident Evil. So I have not played much Resident Evil. I have played five and some of six. So you're all aware that somewhere around the 70 to 90% mark in your Resident Evil adventure, she's just going to turn into like a giant room-sized pile of malignant flesh and tumors, right? That's that's every antagonist in the, all of Resident Evil forever. Except, no, there's no except. That's all of them. Malcolm in the Middle episode going on today. It is. This is Pea Greenscape. I actually destroyed my furniture and ended up stealing a pair. No, you missed step one. That wasn't step one. Step one was I had the idea to boost to 50 construction. No, step one was I ran out of oak planks. I ran out of oak planks. So I decided to make teak planks and use my house to boost my construction level so I could accept the contract to use teak planks, realized I still needed the boost to construct the furniture in the guy's house, destroyed my kitchen trying to upgrade it, went to go smelt the steel to fix it, and now we're in the mining guild because I don't have enough coal. Okay? That's the runescape that's happened today so far. That's where we're at. For anyone keeping track, that's that's where we are now. <laughs> Why are we mining coal? Because I'm trying to fix Larry's house in Falador. And I fucked up my kitchen. Okay? So now I have to work in the coal mines for a bit. It happens sometimes. Which means more to hold on to, says the internet. No. She could technically exist in that universe. Vampirism could be a rare last plague strain. <laughs> I'll get you your new drawers, Larry. Please don't leave me a bad review. I just need to go mine a bunch of coal in the dwarven pits. <laughs> I'm training construction. What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> also, we yelled at a spider for a while. We did yell at a spider. I'm actually feeling kind of hoarse. It's insane. That after the Isaac runs that we had today, after the Binding of Isaac runs we had today, somehow... I'm losing my voice yelling at fucking RuneScape. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You're the guy who lied on your resume to get a job and now you're fucked because it worked. This is exactly what happens. You lie on your resume, you get the job and immediately realize... <laughs> I don't know how to do this job. <laughs> Ruins RuneScape was supposed to be our chill time. We are chilling. We're chilling, strip mining some coal in the mining guild. We're leveling construction. This is so I can use my teak planks. It's important. I have a system in the mining guild. This is where most of my coal comes from. I mean, a lot of my coal comes from Mother Lead Mine. But I think... While well, this is definitely worse mining XP than Mother Lead Mine, I think I get coal faster. Because you get so much shit that isn't coal at Mother Lead Mine that if the goal is, I need coal. Which is the goal, because I have like a thousand mithril I can't use. I come here. I mine these four rocks in a fucking circle. Because they're right next to a bank. And my system is, if it takes me so long to mine a rock at the previous mock respawns, I reverse direction. That's the Uno reverse card. If it takes me so long that I lose interest, that's the mining for the day. <laughs> they ask you how to ride a horse at the interview, if you know how to ride a horse to interview, you say yes and learn to do it as soon as possible. So I can handle that one. I have Miss Girlfriend. She can teach me to ride a horse. I know how to sit on a horse without falling off of the horse. Does that count as riding? Besides, if I want the mining XP, I'm pretty sure I can just go 
do the world's least efficient iron mining like this guy's doing. Because what I learned in boating school is the most effective way to get XP in any skill gathering thing in RuneScape is to go to the guide, look at what you unlocked 30 to 50 levels ago, and do that really fast. It's correct every time. Let's just get one more inventory to be safe. You sit on the horse without falling off because your legs still touch the ground. It's like you're on a child's tricycle. <laughs> He's not wrong. Uh, where's the lie? Oh, I get to go upstairs in Motherload Mine soon! That's 72! I'm kind of close. I thought it was really funny. I tried to go up there because that's where everybody else was and the dude yelled at me. But he actually specifically says you can't boost. He's like, no fucking, no fucking potions or nothing. You got, I actually have 72 mining. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna look in your stats. And if I see a boost, I'm turning your ass away. Okay. I appreciate that you were straight with me, Prospector Percy. I could use more of that in this game. Just fucking be straight with me, <laughs> fucking noodle man. Ah. <sighs> It was pretty funny. My legs do pretty much trail on the ground while I'm riding a horse. She put me on a pretty big horse too, I think, because she was she figured we were gonna have that problem. I think if I set on one of her smaller horses, I can actually just like pedal with my feet like it's a Flintstones car. <laughs> the problem then more is the horse going along with it, because he does weigh a lot more than me. It turns out the horses- it's like us trying to give eye drops to Marshmallow. Firmly grasp the rodent. And he'll sit there and go... <sniffs> for like 30 seconds until he runs out of gas. And then you put the eye drops in his eye. <laughs> He's not gonna force your fingers apart. He is a rat. <laughs> so like, you just gotta wait till he runs out of energy. I legitimately can't believe you've been together as long and still haven't actually ridden. I've ridden! I was like, one of the first things I did when I came down here was I rode a horse. Uh, and I, then I rode one again a couple of months ago, because she wanted me to ride around with her for some Pretty reason. Months. I don't remember. There was a reason. Wormy Joe Fitty in the pool. Over four years. You with the shiniest squilling. Hope the cool guy penthouse is everything you dreamed, my friend. Thank you for the continued support. But also, Brit doesn't want me to do horses. The whole reason that Bryn went to www.onlineboyfriends.com to go shopping at the boyfriend store instead of just dating somebody from the entire horse industry is that she doesn't want a horse boyfriend. <laughs> she wants the furthest conceivable thing from a horse boyfriend, which is me. So that worked out great. You are describing... You are describing a date. While saying you have no idea why it happened, or why it happened. <laughs> that, that's accurate. That is a hundred percent accurate. Yep, that's. Well, there it is. That is correct. She wanted me to just go ride a horse with her for, like, no reason. I, there was probably a reason. I don't remember. I don't know. It was really random. That's called a date. Is that what that is? Oh. Hey, I guess. I'm good at this. She's got the S-tier boyfriend. Okie dokie. Let's go to Edgeville without spending a lot in, because I'm getting kind of low. And she want me to, like, get dressed with fancy clothes and just, just to go get dinner for no reason? I don't know, it's super weird. Not really sure what happened. I was very confused. Logically, you would think your partner would share your main interest, but I don't know how to people, so... <laughs> well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I will- I mean, it might- your mileage may vary. But it is way fucking harder 
to date somebody who is into the same general stuff as you than someone who does completely different shit. That said, Brynn is actually into just video games a lot. She, when she isn't showing or doing something important, she does spend most of her day out there on the couch playing Hearthstone and WoW. So she is just sitting out there doing video game. But I have dated several other... You guys have been here for a long time. I have... I have been down the poorly conceived road of dating another streamer. We don't talk about that anymore. <laughs> yeah, so... A very deep rabbit hole, that one. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, 2 out of 10 don't recommend. Whereas dating a person who does horse stuff, it's a completely different universe, is super interesting. Because... It's completely different universes. No, nothing of that details? No. <laughs> no details. It does give you a guaranteed common interest, but you can have a common interest without, like, being in the same sphere. Like, I mean, I guess there's a difference. There's, like, a line between being a streamer, hypothetically, and dating a streamer, for instance, or whatever equivalent, or liking video games and dating someone else who also likes video games. That is still a totally different person. And that's not like the thing that she does. But we still have the common ground. It's like liking RuneScape and wanting 99 Runecrafting. There you go. Squid's dating the girl from middle school was way too into horses and she was the least, least crazy of his girlfriend. You know, it's not even accurate, really. That's not even accurate because she's in the general horse industry. Boy, there sure are a whole lot of the horse girl from middle school in there. But it's not going to be your horse school girl from middle school, because your horse girl from middle school went to public school with you. So probably never actually got a horse and isn't the horse girl from middle school that is in the horse industry, which is a completely different thing. Uh, that's a very different group of the horse girl from middle school. It's the horse girl from middle private school whose dad is Steve Jobs. who, with the unlimited money that are the circumstances of her birth, now has horses. And, admittedly, Bryn will verify. I'm not shitting on her sport here. Bryn will absolutely verify. You can literally just, through wealth of money, buy your way into, like, high-level equestrian sports. With zero or functionally zero actual ability because there is a wide like you, you at some level have to be meet like a bare minimum competence but there is a wide degree like the horse has a lot more say in what happens than your golf club or your regulation football so if you can purchase a 10 million dollar horse you can kind of just automatically be in the highest levels of equestrian stuff because your horse is so much better than everyone else's. It's like back in the day in classic WoW, like in vanilla WoW, when you would queue up for a battleground at level 39, and then before the queue popped, ding 40, get your mount, get your sick bottom of the talent tree skill, and buy all your level 40 skills, and then go in with a bunch of people who don't have any of that. It's gonna... It's gonna massage your odds pretty significantly. And your skill ceiling is gonna be a lot lower than everybody else's. Or skill floor is gonna be a lot higher, rather. You know. On account of the fact that you don't have... They don't, you have access to way better resources than they do. Haha! -ha! House upgrades.
What is it still? It's the sink? Oh, I thought the sink was going to be like a faucet. Oh, that was the thing I already had. Oh, okay. So I just did all that for literally no reason. That was what I... <laughs> all right, let's yeet the next thing. I'm going to regret removing. How about shelves? What can I put in shelves? I'm going to go grab wood, obviously. Yeet. I got up to 52, I think. I got my oak shelves too. If I have at least three oak planks and six soft clay. I'm gonna file that under a solid fucking maybe. So I have three teaks, three oaks, six clay. This is the current agenda. Hopefully I have all of that. So yeah. Anyway. There is a lot of the horse girl for middle school. But that was a huge tangent. The point is, Bryn is not that. Bryn was, like, raised doing horse sports. Like, she was raised doing these big equestrian circuits since she was, like, six. Fuck. I have no clay, but I do have... Can I just put the clay in the sink? Do I need a bucket? Um, so it's very much a job. It's just a job to her. Like, she's not horse girly at all. Use clay on the sink. Let me get a fucking bucket, dude. Come on. Her goal is to be exposed to the horses to the minimum required degree <laughs> to do her job. Because it's her job. Give me a fucking water. No, see, so and deny the least crazy girlfriend part. I mean, yeah, I'm not denying it because it's also a relatively low bar. Anyone who's been around the channel for the time I've been creating content is aware of how low that bar is. Alrighty. Can I do this a walk? I can. If I would have had the thought to start it more than fucking 80% of the way over here, I wouldn't have to lose any time. Okay, they give me six of these little lumps. Okay. Okay. And I'll just bring a bunch of teaks and build more random teak furniture. Let's go. I feel your pain, buddy. Really, I do. I don't know. It's been a wild adventure in the land of Squidish's dating history. A wild adventure we pretty much just don't talk about anymore. But everyone's at least... A, like, there's a base degree of crazy that is just a human being. It doesn't go to- that dial doesn't go to zero. <laughs> Brain is within the acceptable general barometer at the bottom of base human crazy. Dating and carrying your sex a fat one. I literally cannot imagine how you would facilitate dating in 2021. And I am so fucking glad that I am, like, settled with my girlfriend that I have lived with for three years. And we're just chilling. I can't imagine going back into that pool. It cannot be a fun pool. It has to be a terrible pool at this point. Today's stream is the lore episode of Squiddish. Teak table. You aren't settled, you are Squiddish. Man, that guy. Oh, these shelves look more fancier. Look, I have, like, nice stuff now. I can build a spice rack. Um, alright, what can I use teak planks for? Combat rank space. Let's take bolts of cloth, that makes sense. Storage space. Um, I'll upgrade this eventually. Weapon rank. Sick. It's got boxing gloves and shit on it. Okay. Thank you, Mancha. <laughs> I don't know 
Oh, it goes over here. Um, what else can I build? Let's go upstairs. I gotta build like a thing and I'll level up then I can finally a stupid construction contract, which is not the point. The point was the B50, which we're now accomplishing via building random shit in my house. <laughs> ah, notice my office doesn't have a bookcase. It's because you can't build them out of teak, which is probably exactly what happened previously. Um, bed I'm gonna assume takes cloth. Uh, corner space, what's going on over here? What you doing, buddy? Makes a clock work, build a cool clock. Okay, before I yeet any of these... Oh, there's an upgrade button. Okay, cool. Thank you to God. That makes life so much easier. Um, Wow, that's a huge jump. Okay. I'm gonna guess I can't upgrade any of these, which is why they're not upgraded. This is carved oak wardrobe. This is magic wardrobe. I don't know what kind that is. It doesn't matter. Teak ones are super high level. Toy box only has one flavor. Uh, dresser space. Ah, uh, fuck, I built something, dude. Come on. <sighs> Teak dresser. I'll go get a fucking molten glass. I'll get a molten glass. I'll grab some cloth. I'll come back. I'll get freaking build a bookshelf in my stupid library. With, okay, three mahogany planks and all the cloth that I own. Minus one space for a mole glass. Okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that shit. Construction seems really cool the way you're doing it. What? Like, what am I doing so wrong is the prompt of that comment. <laughs> I am concerned now. I'm doing something so wrong. That I got hit with, wow, doing construction this way seems fun. It's fun not doing mahogany homes, I guess. But that's only because I've temporarily locked myself out of mahogany homes. Which I'm trying to fix! We're trying to fix that problem. Don't worry. That's on the agenda. We're gonna fix that. Soon. <laughs> What we're doing. I like construction a lot. My only problem with construction was it was so hard to get into as an early game Iron Man because it needs so much fucking money. But now that I have the uh, Varric Medium Diary counterfeit bill printer turned on, I can do construction stuff. I can actually realistically level this. Like, I can do a shitload of mahogany homes off stream. It's only like 3k for an inventory of teak planks. That's not bad. I can do that pretty quick. How'd you like yourselves out? Uh, I think exactly, that's exactly what I did, Big Boy Meatballs. I boosted to take a contract, and did not consider that I would also have to boost to build all of the furniture. So, instead of doing that, I'm just getting a one construction level. What I'm going to call the slow way. This is the slow way. I made a fucking mistake. I literally did not for one second consider that I would also need to be 50 to build the furniture in the dude's house. I, my brain was thinking once I accepted the contract, easy, scammed, mission complete. But now I can finally do it. I can now build maximum 25 rooms. I can build a portal chamber. Fire of dehumidification, dehumidification, what the fuck? Okay. I'm gonna have a bed to sleep in! Oh, and it's gonna... I'll be back. If I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I've waited this long. So a fire. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, preen! I want a preen! What does that do? <laughs> you can just random your way through all the haircuts? Oh, that's cool! 
<laughs> All right, Cass. We're gonna chalk this up to some science experiments. Oh, she's giving it some, some attempts. This is some, uh, yeah, I don't like that one either, okay? I'm, I'm with you there. Mm, not really the soldier type. The military doesn't suit you. Nah, nah, that's not great either. Uh, we could pose as Super Saiyan Cassandra Lee. Oh, does it not scroll through them? Is it actually random? We could have a nice bun. We could be so fancy. Look at us! We could be so fancy! No, I'm gay enough. All right, hold on. What hair says crime? I actually think to get the hair that I had, I think I have to go back to the hairdresser. Because I think it's only a subset of the hairstyles. I could hide crime tools in the bun. That's a good point. Let me get back to the bun. Give me the bun. This is the duck butt. Okay, you go Super Saiyan, and you go hit him with the Britney Spears, and then you have the fancy bun. I'll wear the fancy bun for a bit. We'll be fancy bun for now. I don't want to keep the fancy bun. But the fancy bun is what I currently have. Can I also build a rug in here? For three cloth or less. It was four for the four poster bed, right? No, it's two. Oh, I can build a fancy rug. It's Brittany, bitch. Hammer that rug into my floor. Permanent fixture. Never moving that ever. Okay. There's me enough cloth to make the four poster. I just gotta bring us three mahoganies. I gotta bring a couple more mahoganies. And then I can make myself a fancy, fancy thing. The sample size of me gay buns are messy. Okay, um, so we're gonna build some new rooms. We're gonna build those new rooms. I would like, it's in here right now. I have to do that at a door. Build door hotspot. Okay. I can't remember spray on I'm not removing the room. What? Did I hit? What? I want to build. Oh, it's directional. Okay. The chapel. This should go on the other side. This should go on the other side. Do you know when you started your account? Like six months ago, seven months ago. Way too long for my stats to look like this. No bully, no bully, please. September last year. Ah, oh, there you go. Look at this man, he knows. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like this. This is what I want to do. Because we build it like this. Because then we have. The menagerie should probably go somewhere else. You walk through my cat house. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We gotta we gotta flip the workshop in the menagerie. Um Give me house beer. Yes. Eat that over here. And then the workshop. We already have an external there, door there I can't get rid of. So maybe it's time we just move the workshop to here. If I do this... Hold on. If I do this... Do I have a backyard shed? Because that's what I want. I want a backyard shed. I absolutely have a backyard shed. Because the other door gets jammed into the corner, so it only has one entrance. That's what I wanted! I wanted one entrance! I want a fucking shed! So it has to be against my house to be a shed? So it's more of like a garage, I suppose, than a shed, necessarily. I feel like I said shed a lot of times. But one inch that's what I wanted. It's backwards, though. Alright, I gotta rotate this. Hold on. 
No, um... I feel like it's backwards. I feel like it's backwards. So we'll flip it around and see what we think. See what we think. I don't think Ritzcape able to do that. You have to manually make new Ritz. Oh, the movement thing? Yeah, I would go fucking insane if I had to manually make new Ritz. Because that puts all the tools here. That puts the seat when you walk in, leaves the helmet stand in the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's the business right there. What do I need for the last tool space? Oaks and also more levels. Okay. Does it please you know that people use guides to get an efficient house layout to save a few seconds? No. <laughs> Teak altar. Okay, hold on. I'm 50? I think we scienced out this was three. Yeah, I need to get more levels before I can make a cloth culture not cover altar. We're gonna make an altar an altar that exists. This is what we're going for right now. We're going for altar that exists. It's like an actual altar. Holy shit, it's an actual altar. Nope. Okay. Musical space. I feel like don't even bother till you can make an organ. It's a fucking church. Don't even bother. Don't even present to me like it's an option. The non-organ space thing. Okay, I can make... Steel candelabras. I kind of like wooden torch, honestly. It fits the vibe we're doing right now. Why is it two nails? I kind of like wooden torch, actually. I don't know if I need to build two or one. I don't know if they'll work together. So if I'll bring four flanks, four nails. Oh my god, I can make a gnome child icon. We have to declare allegiance, chat. Who do we worship in this house? We have to... I feel like... Bob's the evil cat, right? I'm pretty sure Bob's the evil cat. Oh shit, I'm the roll for nails. I'll bring a jillion nails and four regular planks. Good call. A shit zillion nails and four regular planks. Small statues, two limestone bricks. Okay. Guthics. Dude, fuck. I will literally put anything but. Like, Guthics at the bottom of my fucking list. I'm thinking Zamorak, honestly. Like. <laughs> Are we gonna pretend that with the character that Cassandra Lee is, of the three available options, Zamorak would not be who we worship? Are we just gonna pretend that we're not fucking gay crime Satanists? Like, everything that the Christian moms were worried about in the 80s would just pass better? Wait, I can make actual windows. I can shutter my window. I was gonna bring a shitload of planks, actually. We're gonna do a bunch of plank stuff. Okay, I need portal chamber. Um, I don't know how many doors portal chamber has. Uh, let's put portal chambers by the stairs. Kinda makes sense to me, I suppose. We try to do good. We're just all so criminals. All things in balance. Uh, this portal here makes sense to me. Portal chamber. It is a mono door. And there's three portals. So I could theoretically have three of them around this. I could have a ring of portal chambers around the staircase. Okay, build this bitch. 100 grand. Makes sense, we're building a fucking portal chamber. Okay, what are you, centerpiece? Need limestone. I'll bring the sack. Hey, all cash stack. I mean, technically, there's like 150 battle staves in my bank, so not really. It's my whole stack of raw cash, yes. 
portal. Portal. Okay. I assume I need to focus where I can do anything. So I had planks, nails, and the flame tear sack are what I need right now. Okay. But this is my liquid money. I don't. Oh, and four mahogany planks. Right. I don't bother. I mean, every now and then I do when my battle stave stack gets up. But I don't usually bother doing alchemy grunts until I need money. And then I'm like, well, I need money. Then we go run around the Sears rooftop for 45 minutes while I elk battle staves. Because if you're going to elk, you might as well trade agility. Two levels away from being able to not, have, not having to boost to use the pipe shortcut, which would be pretty nice. I need this. I need the sack. How much limestone's in here? Four. Well, that's not a lot. Do what we must, because we can. Are there more god options in modern? Not sure if old school level or ever have them. I mean, they definitely talk about other gods. There's a bunch of stuff about Zaros. Nails. 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 Nails! 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 Nails. Nails. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Nails. We did a big quest thing about Zaros. Where are my nails? I'm in front of me and I'm just very blind. Okay, nails. There's, uh... That's what I know. I know about Zeros. Zerik. Zeros' brother from Zaya. Uh... Ancient. That's the kind of boots that I have. Uh... Armadil? Was a kind of... Blessed dragon hide that I had in Trailblazer? I don't know if that's a god. Oh, get big high war god! We know Big High War God. No, yeah, in Kona, usually the the go-to is let me be a dumb idiot and just waste all of my time. <laughs> but I'll allow it, because I really want to build this stuff. I want the wooden torches, honestly. I think it fits the aesthetic the best. Ah, they do have to be... No, they're not separately. Okay. I can light them. I can light my torches. Probably needs a tinderbox. Which I could probably get from my garage. Okay, so the most important thing is that we build a portal focus eraser. Armadillo's little rodent dudes that curl up in a ball. No, that's Armadillo. You're thinking of the AR-15 manufacturer. <laughs> Only took five out of two nails. Oh, in the, in the bag. I gotta come out of the bag. Come out of the bag, please. Give me the limestone bricks. Thank you. Build. Okay, how does this work? Direct portal. Need enough runes for 100 castings of the teleport spell. Combination runes, pouches, and staffs cannot be used. That sounds worse than it is, I think. But there's a lot of teleports in this game. That sounds a lot worse than it is. So if I wanted to make a Varric portal out of my house, it would be 100 law runes, 100 fire runes, and 300 air runes. That sounds way worse than it is. Well, 100 law runes is like 25k, so that's... That's not nothing. But that's not that bad. Uh, alright, so where would I want to make... I could make three portal... I could make a bunch of these portal runes, but it's 100k to make with a portal room.
Okay, so that's an objective. I would really... So back in Trailblazer, we could just cape to the altar, pray and recall crystal back to Barrows. It's obviously not gonna be possible in the real game, but there's an altar in my house. So I could teleport to my house, pray, feel like I'd want the Barrows portal to not be across the entire house from the altar. Uh, I may want to move the chapel over here. May want to move the chapel over here just for convenience. I'm not looking to, like, meta the perfect house. I am... perhaps... looking to not have to run the entire diagonal length of my house to get from the praying to the portals. I feel like, for the sake of convenience, the altar and the portals. The portals are already pretty close to where I come in. They should be probably relatively close to where I appear when I come here. God, this is fashion house. It is mostly fashion house, but like part of designing a house is the slightest semblance of functionality. That is part of building a house also. Like, even if you are just building a house to be cool, any degree of usability still matters. It's part of the architectural challenge. Hmm. No, that's not actually a door, it's a real fake door. So, let me think. We have a nice entryway. I like this. I don't want to fuck with this. Yeah, form over function, but we can't entirely ignore the function. What we could do... is we could move this stairwell here, mirror the upper floor along with it, yeah, like, entryway, dining room, kitchen, that's legally required. You can't fuck with that. But if we put the staircase here, I could have this side of the house, because I'll have a doorway here. This leads to the combat room and the games room. Uh, achievement gallery could go either here or here instead of combat. Or here. This could be a stairwell. And that stairwell could let out to portal chamber, uh, portal chamber, and chapel. So I just move this chapel forward one. Here, I can just hit buttons. I don't know why I'm talking about it. I can just push buttons. So we take the chapel, we move the chapel forward one space. That did not happen. We move the chapel forward one space. We hit done. And our chapel's right here. And then this is where it gets a little strange. I'm not sure this is going to work. I need to go to upstairs. This needs to move here. Is that legal? Room is linked to one below with a cap. Okay, you have to move. Oh, you move as a pair. Okay, that's actually better than I thought it was. Okay, so all I have to do now then is move this to just somewhere else. I'll call you in a second. And we move the staircase to that spot. It should bring the joined staircase. It brings both halves of the staircase. Which is it's better than I thought it was going to be. And then we go up here. We move the study over for adjacency. We have to do a little juggling here. Because we move my bedroom back here. Rotate 90 degrees. We're doing it. And then put the costume chamber back attach the bedroom. You're gonna hear this jingle a lot of times and I'm sorry. Then we take the trophy hall. 
we move it here, spin it that way, so it's got some outside access too. That's cool. That's nice. I like that. Achievement Hall can let out to Menagerie, because I saw there was a formal garden, so I had to make space for that. Um, that would realistically be, like, here. There's also a regular garden. I, should build, I could build any kind of gardens. And then... I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what I'm doing with you right now. But I don't really want to just delete it. I'll just put it there for now. Just, it's, it's vestigial. I no longer... That was the part of the plan where I was going to have the top floor stretch across the front of the house. Now we're designing everything. Portal room goes here. Connected to the stairwell. Okay. And then this can go here for if I ever want it later. All right. All right, I think we got it. I think we got it. I think we got there. Okay, so... We come in. Form over function, but function does also matter. We come in. On arrival, our altar is right here. And our portal room is this. These stairs are backwards. The portal room is right here. There. Functionality achieved to some extent. Uh, that means... Ooh! Two things real quick. Thing one, the staircase is backwards. That's going to bother me forever until I fix it, so I'm going to fix it. Should the stairs... It should face the welcoming room. And then I can also make the shed actually face the backyard. Because now there's not a doorway here, because it's a portal room. So I can actually have the shed uh, let out into the backyard like I want to. Boom! That's it. That's the fucking house. Okay. They'll probably have to fuck with this later when I want to add more stuff to it. But for now, that's the house. And this area will be... Some gardens. I feel like my house is very against the southern... <laughs> my house is inched this way as we've built. Uh, but that's okay. We're doing good. Now we still have the League Trophy Hall. And the League Trophy Hall actually connects better into the kitchen than it did before because now the kitchen points directly at the pedestals you know so i can showcase I mean, not that i've built them but they're there you know in the future theoretically also this is fucking backwards i made every stairwell backwards all right what do we bring a bunch of planks for chat there was another thing that i wanted to build was it the icon there's another thing i wanted to build that was just planks and nails no, those are oaks. There's still fancy bed. That's mahogany. What else did we find that was using regular planks? There were regular planks for the torches, and there were regular planks for something else. Oh, God, I'm so used to it. I gotta, I gotta unlearn that. My brain says stairs are over there. Not anymore. Oh, now my door is gonna go straight towards the bed. Oh, this works out so much better. Fucking four poster. Look at that shit. Now this door points at the bed. That's a bedroom. It's not like against the side for some reason. The fireplace would be where you could realistically have a chimney instead of back to another room. Oh, this is so much better, chat. We this was an improvement. This was an improvement in form and function. This was a double-sided super upgrade. I have no idea what these planks were for. That's okay, they've done their job. And now, I have to go do my job. <laughs> because there is a man who woefully does not possess drawers. <laughs> and I have to go solve that problem. I gotta think about what portals I want. The shelves in the shed? I wasn't... High enough level to build the last thing in the shed. The last thing in the shed took 60 construction. I don't know. I don't know what it was. It's okay.
I missed a vibe check. Did I miss a vibe check? Oh, I missed a vibe check. We we're talking about the rats here. Will I get my inventory? Well, let's talk about the gods, rather. Sorry. Can't miss a fucking vibe check. Are you kidding me? Bratwurst is Monchin, but I don't know if this is calculated or not. He is exactly behind the threshold, like behind the doors. <laughs> so you can't really see him Monchin. He's a secret rat. He's very, he's shy. He's camera shy. He's hiding behind the door frame. Rowers, what are you doing? Hold on, I'm gonna go bother that rat. What is Theodore doing? I have no fucking idea. He's like... He's laying like, paint me like one of your French girls style. Cleaning his butt. These are mahoganies, and I'm an idiot. God damn it! I swear to you! Larry, you will have your drawers back! Okay? You will have your fucking drawers! Eventually! <laughs> okay. Teak. Drawer. Oh my god, I'm actually improving furniture now. It's actually getting better. Drawers. We did it. Table. We did it, chat. <laughs> Are you even the same person that came here before? Yeah, I just changed my hair. I love a cup of tea. Thank you, my friend. <sighs> I did it. There was a detour involved. But we got there. Now it's a thing that I can do off stream. It's just slam some fucking... I'm not even going to put this shit away, because honestly, it's probably... If I do stuff later, it's probably going to be more of that. Not even going to put this shit away. That's not, I'm going to do more of this. I'm also going to fix my hair. I want to go speak with the hairdresser. Fancy disguise is nice and all, but I got to get the Cassandra Lee hair back, right? We got to get back with the, uh, with the classic, with the fucking special. All right, chat. We did good. We did good, I think. It was a productive day. We accomplished a bunch of dumb crap. And some of it was even the stuff we set out to do, and not stuff we ended up doing, because we got very sidetracked with problems that I created myself. I'm gonna go eat dinner now. It's an hour after I normally stop my stream. Thanks for hanging out, Chad. Thank you for being here. Appreciate all your support. Let me see if I can find a raid. Whomst? Whomst da very bright window. Can I dark mode Google yet? Is that a function? Boomstada is online. Oh fuck, Paizo's online? Wow, everyone's on. Broski's playing Outer Wilds? Alright, hold on. Drop everything. We're going to Broski. And I swear to God, chat, if any of you spoil anything about Outer Wilds. 
I will fucking ban you in both of our chats. Outer Wilds is such an incredible blind experience, and that I know that's how he plays games too. If you want to see a fucking ride, Outer Wilds is just so good. Here's your raid pasta. I'm gonna send y'all over to Broski. Be nice. He's a funny man. Get out of here, buddy. Oh, I'm fucking hyped. This is my dinner watching for sure. <laughs>